Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, another episode of the Unlaced podcast. If you are new here, I thank you for turning up. As I always say, please give us a like and subscribe. It's how we grow. And if you guys have come back again, I absolutely love you. Uh, we've done a lot of footy podcasts over the past few weeks, but today we've got the round ball back on and by popular demand, the Galactic Oz podcast, one of my favorite podcasts in the country. A lot of controversy, a lot of opinions about the round ball uh, on there. And I've got Azam Abdullah, Amir Abdullah, and Hassanan Idris, known as The Truth, on the show today. Boys, thank you for coming on. Jake We're Glidden. here, man. It's uh, <laughs> second time on the show for Azam and Hassanan. appreciate you boys coming on. And My God. Uh, Amir, yeah. brother of Azam, which you do, you reckon you don't look alike. which no, is nowhere near, bro. Bro, I, st- I swear I saw it when I first said hello. <laughs> <laughs> it's there, it's there, man. We're it's there. Trying to deny, but... With the other one, with the other one, it's more, it's more obvious. Well, Abdullah, Abdullah, I think... Abdullah, Abdullah, it's more obvious. Mm. Maybe. I think for, for us, for East Africans, we see it, but most... Come on, guys. Oh, like <laughs> this, this, this guy's audience will probably say, we all look alike. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, well, well. <laughs> nah, hey, I, was, I do want to explain to all the listeners, though, because um, I've said this to Azam, who I speak to regularly on DMs and stuff, but um, the Galactic Oz podcast, one of my favorite podcasts, because it's very unique in Australia. It's very... Um, very, very what confrontational on football issues, but there's a lot of passion. There's a lot of heart. There's a lot of knowledge. But as we were joking before we came on mic, it actually is a family in a lounge room kind of screaming and shouting at each other. So the way you guys go at each other and some of the points that are made are quite valid, but also some of them are outrageous, which makes the show <laughs> so good. Um, I was, so that's why I love having you guys on this show because uh, having us, man. I expect controversy when you come on somewhere. <laughs> and the, the truth who Hassan and that's that's your nickname or it maybe your real name now. <laughs> you got a few things wrong last time, man. I, I can't lot. find the clip, but I need to find it. All right, make it tell, tell me to make sure lose it there. <laughs> you got a few things right too, actually. Did I? Do yeah. you remember? I you do got remember. a good memory. I do. What could you can you say it? Though? I don't want to jump. I don't, I don't remember where he got right, but I remember where you got wrong. I remember what he got right completely, bro. No, no, no. About Bellingham, bro. We'll get to I don't oh, know. Oh, we'll get, yeah. oh wow. Yeah. Did I say something? Yeah, 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 I'm gonna go into Bellingham. Yeah, yeah, of course. I don't want to skip Of course. But now first off, I want to go into you guys, your podcast and and how it's going because it's been probably a bit over a year or so since we've had you on the show. So um, how's it been going and how's the, I guess, sort of the popularity been growing? Because I see the clips everywhere. Yeah, man. It's been almost like a year and a half now, I think, right now. Mm -hmm. We've hit about a year and a half right now. And it's, yeah, I think from my my point of view, I I didn't expect like uh, the kind of reaction that we did and especially the kind of collaborations that we've yeah. We managed to do like we 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 linked up with you. We linked up with so many other podcasts in 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 Australia as well, and as well like uh, abroad in, in in the UK like Football Daily, um, bloody SDS. We had Sharky on like you, you, yeah, you had Sharky in in in, in the studio, studio yeah, when when he came when the Beta Squad Bro. came to Australia. Like, is that your biggest? Is that yeah, your biggest yeah, guest? Come on, man. The, yeah, that, I don't think he's, we're gonna man, talk he, that at all. He created the name Beta Squad. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. he's he's, nah, he's, he's, he's nuts. come on, man. He, he's big, but. We also got like some uh, ex-professional footballers like Shaka Hislop the other week. We got him. We got um, uh, Archie Thompson. What's his name? Your, your, your favorite pundit. What's his name again? Craig Foster. Craig Foster. Come on, man. Favorite pundit? Not anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, fed, I fed it out of him a little bit. <laughs> Only when the episode was coming out with your favorite. <laughs> Why? Why is it not your favorite? When the know. guests are on... This no, guy, I, <laughs> something I, I, else. I like Rick Foster, but uh, he changes up. He no, 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 up. I don't switch up. Be quiet. <laughs> hard. That's hard, hard. 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 Why? Why? Hard. Tell me what he does. Because the fan girl <laughs> starts, yeah. starts yeah. agreeing ah, with everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro, I love that. That's real, man. Man, I love, it's been a solid year, I swear. Like it's been, it's been brilliant. We went into a second season right now. We've started a, a show on Patreon as well. Oh uh, wow! So we're trying to get the numbers up. It's like about thirty people that subscribe to it. We're trying That's to get great. up to hundred. We're doing a like a like a hot. Wings uh, and football question like trivia kind of show. <laughs> so that's, that's yeah, you, do you guys like spicy food? I love spicy food. Love Don't get me wrong, hot wings. I've done the challenge, like the actual real sauces. Yeah. Even me, and I've got a strong spicy palate. I think I oh, yeah. still died, but I feel like so some, anyway, it's like from the first one, like from the nah, sixth, like third? last two, like okay, last two enough. lost, nice like standard. started like couldn't see for like not couldn't see, but like <laughs> yeah. my eyes were watering oh, and I'm like couldn't talk bad. properly. It is that bad? No, no, the, no. the last one and two, yeah, yeah. Our last, our last one is messed up. Yeah, I love the eyes. Yeah, like it's not mouth. human. It's not for humans. Yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? That's I the think. idea. The idea is like it's six questions, and the the questions get hotter. The it gets harder, and the hot wings get hotter. Uh-huh. It's it's it, it's going well, and yeah, man, we're we're gonna see. Hopefully, the next season we're trying to do something a bit more like interactive, like going out on a football pitch and doing some drills. Uh-huh. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> he's, he's a goalkeeper. So he's gonna jump in goal. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah, you know, yeah. player. 
No, I'm playing. I'm hey, playing. I, I was told you played. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a professional player. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Where? I've, I've played. You still play now? Yeah, I still play now. I, oh, now it's um, preseason, but I was playing at Harderberg. I came back from overseas. Oh, nice. And then played for Harderberg for half the season. Um, and then, yeah, now I'm just waving on uh, hopefully any offers that come from overseas or I just continue playing at Harderberg. Wait, so how old are you now? I'm 24 now. 24. Oh, yeah, you're a great 24. age. Do you like playing? We had this discussion with Lolan. I got a. There's a clip going around now about yeah. MPL in Australia, but um, yeah, we're, we're going to talk about all this stuff. Aren't yeah, we? yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. But yeah, let, maybe let's talk about MPL now because I want to. I want to know what your guys' opinion is because I played in it for a bit, but I, to be honest, I haven't like been close to it for the last Lately? three or four years. Okay, yeah. So yeah. I. I don't know where it's at. I'll let him start on it, and then we'll. So I've. I've only give him some context as well because I don't think he knows that you actually played pro overseas. Oh, oh no, you did! Oh, what? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Why you played for Harderberg then? Yeah, yeah that's no, what, no, he no. what do you do, bro? Like, nah, so so look, so I'll start from the where I was in the beginning. So I was playing at Brunswick okay. under like under twenties. Yeah, and then I had like a very good season there. Scored like over twenty over twenty goals. Or Are you a striker? So, no, I was a. Uh, 10, 10 and a winger. 20 goals, mm, yeah. bro. It's good, it's good. That, time, that, that season was nuts. And then from then, from, from that season, I got um, scouted by Mariners, Central Coast Mariners. So yeah. I went there, played there for a year. What, uh, in the A-League? No, no, not in the A-League. So oh. the under-23s and trained with the first team, but never actually got a gig. Um, and then, yeah, from there, came back here to Melbourne, played Northcote for a bit. Um, actually, before Northcote, I went to Spain, played in Spain for about three months in like the third division there. Came back to Northcote, played for a bit. And then after Northcote, I got signed by Harderberg. And that was the COVID season. So I played for like the first three rounds. And I got the offer to go overseas. Oh, and, wow. And sign professionally. So I went overseas, played in Estonia. Estonia, Ran man. Random country. What's that like I, I, for a brother living yeah. in Estonia, bro? bro and was, any other, was any other niggas there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. There was... I didn't play your team. Not in my team? Yeah. Once every team. Like, when you walk down the street, like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. there's yeah. going to be no hardly, one. Hardly. Yeah. Yeah. Hardly. Hardly. Stood bro. out, bro. Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You just stood out like dog's balls, man. Yeah, yeah. you'll get, you get stairs everywhere, yeah. whatever. But it's not, it's not in a negative way. It's just like, it's just like, haven't seen not negative. That can't be good. No, no. Who the fuck is that? No, it's like, we haven't seen this before, you know? Yeah. Like, so it's all right. It's not too bad. Um, But yeah, that. so the switch from coming from January here and peak summer, to minus 15 degrees over there and minus for 10, whatever, preseason. It was a massive, massive jump, man. And yeah. then, yeah, bro. So, so two seasons there. First season, we won the league. We played in the the conference league. That was the first year for the conference league Europe, as well. Europe conference league. Yeah, yeah. So what we played in that. F we played in that, the first two qualification games and then we got knocked out. And after we won the league, we got into um, qualification for Champions League for the next season. <laughs> but then obviously we didn't move too far in that. Yeah. And we got knocked out as well. Um, but yeah, then um, I ended my contract early and then I came back here, played for Harderberg, which is, was like you a couple months. You played last season in NPL in, for Harderberg? Or yeah, so this season. Uh, this yeah, season just finished. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just finished. Yeah. So right. I played the last, what, six games and the Australia Cup as well. We made it to oh, quarters. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then, yeah, so then now I'm just chilling here. We're just waiting for anything else to come up here. Yeah. Damn, kick and ball, huh? Number yeah. 10 winger. Yeah. But <laughs> well, you got to be good to play there, man. Yeah, you, just, uh, you, can't, I, I, you can't fake I, it there. You can't fake you're it. You're a number 10, aren't you? Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah that's actually, how I know. Yeah, it's a tough yeah? position. Yeah, yeah, if I play bad, if you play bad, the team plays yeah. bad. Do you know what I mean? It's obvious. To an bro. extent. Yeah, like, it's you know, yeah, it's it's a big position. But it's that's a, good. It's a standout player on the and team. And to score yeah. goals there as well. That's like... Yeah, it's a massive thing. Yeah, bro. that's a big thing. If you thing. go missing, it's very, very clear. Everybody yeah, knows. Everyone yeah, knows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, like, what's get this kid off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Everything has to go through you. So if, yeah. you, if you don't do anything, you're done for, bro. That's why I used to... Sometimes I used to hate it. Because sometimes, like, I might not be picked. And then when I get picked, it's like the whole game plan's around that. Yeah. Position. I'm like, well, how can I go from not playing to did, being did the? Did you play in NPL? You never played in NPL, did you? Nah, I played like, played uh, two years in the main NPL, yeah. and then I played one season in NPL two. Okay, and then I stopped. You know what? Is that before you made the A League? Nah, it's when I came back. Oh, okay, okay. It's yeah, 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 yeah. But, but, you're, but sorry, you're, you're, but, you're, I said this on my thing. Yeah, yeah. My, yeah you know, you yeah, know my debut. Yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 I was, yeah. No, no, no. Oh, my no, no. debut in NPL, I was 14. So I was at that time, I was the youngest player ever. Wow, bro. but then what yeah, team? someone else. I think someone else broke the record. Yeah, it was, it what was a, position? Uh, I was playing as like a center mid then, but what? I just played one. I was playing in the reserves. That's nuts, man. Yeah, it was. It was. Yeah, but, but was, you know what the crazy thing is? He was telling us the other time when, when we came, mm -hmm. like after you had your injury mm -hmm. and and you stopped playing pro. I think you were about his age, like 24, 25 or something when you like. That's it. Yeah, like, that, yeah, that, I'm good. I'm good. I'm a good mentor for you, bro. Don't give up. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. because I just didn't like. I didn't. 
if I if so for you now, if you played for Heidelberg after what you've done, yeah. and you're the best player every week, for me, I didn't care. Like, because uh, I was like, so it should be. So I yeah, never felt yeah, yeah, nothing yeah. anymore, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, like, I just, like, it's. But was the love for the game gone? For, cause, love. But, but that's in, you had an injury, like. Yeah, I had you, injuries, but, like, even when I was turning up, I was like. Well, but why, why were you over it? Because you had a vision of what well, you thought you were like going to be. One minute you're playing in front of 50,000 yeah, people, the next I'm yeah. taking a corner at Avondale and there's a kid on the swing that's, like, almost hitting me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And I'm like, what yeah. the fuck's going on? You know, yeah, so yeah, I just yeah. didn't enjoy it. Yeah, okay, I get you. But also, then, like, as I got, like, started doing more work, I was, like, getting busy, and then, like, the trainings and the games and. That's the truth, though, and bro. like I couldn't dedicate the same way that I used it's to. Mental you know? game, man. It's That's yeah. true, bro. But uh, it's the same same position as that. I was playing overseas for two years. Yeah, highest the highest level I've ever played at. Yeah, I would say higher than MPO. Yeah, easily. For sure. Yeah, and then I come back from there, can't even get to start for Harder, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then it's, that just like yeah, 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 hits home. Yeah, bro. It's 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 really really it's difficult tough, to do. Yeah, with, you got to get out. You got to yeah. get out as soon as you can, but. Well, that's cool, man. That's yeah, a cool man. story. So it's, you've got you've got an actual baller on your podcast yeah, now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so he can check we're, you we're, sometimes we're, so the we're, truth comes in. Who has the worst takes? <laughs> Do you really? Right, who, 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 has, who, has, who actually has the best takes in your opinion? Like well, I know mine, truth, get, truth will get the most more clips. Accurate. Mine's the most accurate. Is this actually the mo- most accurate though? Are we well, saying guessing okay, games? Okay, Are we saying honest? guessing games? Because if we're saying guessing games, guessing. this you're guy guessing. and the, the other has We're talking no, about you, no, the way no. you analyze the game. <laughs> this guy and has it in there, guess. No, no, no. Well, the guys, let's be honest. The comment section decide and the comment section clearly say you have the worst take followed by Simba. <laughs> has yeah. he called the truth then? You can't be called the truth. It's gospel. But you're climbing the ranks right now. No, you know why? Because you know the problem is is that they'll give me something and I'll have to speak about it. I'll speak about to a point where I start getting passionate. Once I get passionate, it they're not stopping me. So now I start getting passionate. <laughs> yeah. I start ripping into oh, different brands. Man, that's the problem. Well, we bro. should we should get into some topics because um, man, it's cr- crazy. Some of the games and the the leagues and the situations that are going on around the world right now. Yeah. But uh, hot off the press, the Ballon d'Or. I I am. Um, I understand why Messi won because of the World Cup. It's disgusting, bro. But like, yeah. I just wanted You're someone. Not on it. Pardon? You're not on it. No, I, 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 I am, but I was like, surely if winning the treble is so is, is, so is like, more yeah. difficult from a longevity of games and season. Okay, so you think Haaland should have won it? Is that right? Am I going there? Haaland, De Bruyne. De Bruyne? Someone like that. Okay, probably, what, probably Haaland. What, this comes out to it. Like, what do you think the Ballon d'Or is? Now, there's, like, there's, there's two ways, there's two different ways you can look at it. You can look at it as in, should the best player in the world win it every year? So I, just, or, or is it the player who had the best season that year? I think it should be the best season. But what defines the best season? Like he's for his, only for his club, only for his country, or a mix of both? No, it's a mix of both. See, that's, that's so then how can Haaland win it? Because he won, th- he won every single trophy that he could win. Okay, th- 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 that's his team, for he can't. He didn't make the World Cup. Yeah. Okay, that, 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 that was fine. his biggest. And, and, that, that's fine. But we we have arguing about Haaland. He didn't score a goal in the quarterfinals, finals, uh, semifinals, all finals. That's true. And that's, that's a good honest. point. That that's to, that's that a good point. That, that, has good point. To, that has to matter. No, no, no. We can't. We can't say if they could have won a bit without him because no, 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 they've been trying. They've been trying and they haven't. And now this is the Champions League that they won and he's with them. But did he score in the quarters? The reason. The reason. The reason why they got him is to win the Champions League. We all know that. And he came and they did it. Whether or not he scored in the final or quarters or whatever you guys are saying. Well, let me let me reverse his question on you. Is it fair that? Messi can win it off a World Cup. I yes. think. I, yes, I, I, think, I think it's fair. I, I think it's fair. Now, because that, that is the way the the game has historically I'll tell, I'll, gone. I'll tell you why it's fair. I tell you why it's fair. And I've got two examples. Fabian Cannavaro. Yeah. Cannavaro. He won the league and the World Cup. No one can argue that he won the the Ballon d'Or in two thousand six. Well deserved, right? I, I think. I know. Did he win the Champions League? Mm. He just won the World Cup in two thousand two. Got the Ballon d'Or. Yeah. Zinedine Zidane. With uh, Juventus, he won yeah. the Serie. Yeah. He won the World Cup nineteen ninety eight. Yeah. Historically, that's Done. how it works. Yeah. Messi won the the league on. And he won the, it's the, the big, It is the biggest trophy it's in the game. Not, and, and he, and but it's and only he, like eight games. And his performance and and like was 50. phenomenal. And his performance was phenomenal. Every like the, game was phenomenal? Yes. Uh, it, uh, was. it was. It was every game? From a Saturday game, game to the Michigan. <laughs> <Michigan's laughs> come on, man. Are you serious right now? Only the Saturday game. Only the Saturday game. But everything is brilliant. Come on, man. Don't even think. I don't think. What about Mbappe? You think Mbappe had a shelf? Um, Nah, because I didn't think PSG did enough. See, that's what I'm saying. But the World Cup was phenomenal. But like, if you go off best players, yeah, Ben. Uh, Mbappe has, but a best season I think is uh, Ballon d'Or. Like that's why I think Wesley Snyder should have uh, when he like he won one. Yep, Luka Modric. They they actually probably yep. might have been the best players in their season. Yep, in 2010. See, yep. I, I was about to take example. He, he should have. Someone won. just missed out as well. He should have won it that year. 
Yeah, yeah. 2010. Yeah, he was Schneider. the best player in the world yeah, that best year. Play, that's what I'm saying. I, I, I agree with the best season but, too. And it was for Holland, the World Cup and thing. Yeah, now, as for Holland, Holland's not playing for, um, uh, he's not playing for Azerbaijan. He's playing for Norway, bro. His team, he's got a decent team. Azerbaijan might give Norway a run, man. They couldn't qualify for the World Cup. Norway that bad? No. Nah, like, well, can, can he get them to qualify? Can, can he, can they're he, not that bad. They've got stars in their team. They've as got well. stars. So they should be enough to qualify for the Euros. Would you, yeah. would you agree? That's, yeah, that's so true. So that, that that's has true. to count against him the in Euros some way. The World Cup. They just say Euros. Let's, let's not go too far. You mm. know what I mean? Mm. Like, Iceland qualifies for the Euros. So you can't say, oh, no, but he plays for Norway, so we can't include his international. No, no, I don't but, like the argument but for me, Holland. The, the thing is, for me, when you guys say that Messi has an unbelievable tournament, Unbelievable tournament is what Mbappe had in the World Cup. That's called carrying. That's carrying your team. Like, he. He's a single, as I'm the single player. In 2018, you're talking about. The, so oh, 20, no, no, even, even this year. Oh, this year. Bro, this Mbappe year. was unbelievable. Was he the whole World Cup? Even the, the last, last, even the last the World Cup, he was unbelievable. That doesn't mean Messi didn't have a game. He's the well. most dangerous man. Messi was in, well, in games. Very like. Which game? <laughs> just point that one. Sentence, uh, the, the first one against Saudi. For me, that okay. one stood out a lot. Against Australia, he wasn't even like that. I don't even know what you guys saw in that game. <laughs> Wallah, what, what did you see? Are we watching Explain the same game? Explain to me, Wallah, Azam. What did you see against Australia? He, pay, he paces Wallah. it out, but then when he, but when he switches on by, it's on. And the game that Alvarez scored from, uh, Enzo scored from outside the box. Uh, Who was yeah. that against? That was, uh, was it Mexico? Mexico. Yeah. Mexico. Did I, you see something? He broke the deadlock. He, he, uh, he, he scored. He's the one that scored from outside yeah. the box. Yeah, he, was, was, yeah, he was the one that he scored. Phenomenal. Yeah, it's moments. You see, Wallah, what do you mean it's so moments? So you think Haaland should have won? Oh, I, like, bro, get, get I don't. I just, I just think. Wanna... No, nah, I think. I think for the amount of goals and the impact he had across all those three tournaments, yeah. all those three trophies, uh, I think his season was maybe better than Messi's for sure. Because Messi, think... Messi's season at PSG wasn't that good. Oh well, yeah, it was just like. like yeah, and then like average. Inter, you can't really count into Miami because that's that's. Well, I don't think there's a clear cut winner. Like clear cut, like, oh, like there's first this uh, this Messi winning the Ballon d'Or thing. If if anyone had won that World Cup. With that, with whatever performance they would have had, no one was ever going to say that they would they would no, be able to Mbappe win the Ballon d'Or. Mbappe won the World Cup; he would have got it. No, no, but Mbappe, Mbappe is a, a whole different story, Azam. Why? Mbappe on the if you're saying right now, no trophies involved, no no assists, no goals, he's whatever. He's, he's who's the player. best player in the world right now? Uh, Mbappe. You say Mbappe. Would you yeah. say Mbappe? That's, yeah, that's yeah, just logic. Mbappe. Yeah. So you can't but use him as an example. Give us another example of a country that could have won the World Cup and then their player wouldn't win the Champions uh, with the Ballon d'Or. No, let's say for <laughs> example, let's say for example, if Messi wasn't the key player for for the for, for Argentina that in this tournament, yeah. if it was Alvarez, let's say, yeah. if Alvarez kept on coming off the bench and scoring goals and winners. Now, would you say he deserves the battle? I don't think so. No, it's yeah, not. That, Why not? That, he would have won the treble and the walk. But there was even a couple of years ago, it might have been the f the sixth or the seventh Ballon d'Or. It was like, wow. It could have gone. It could have gone to another player, but they gave it to Messi. Yeah, I, 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 I can't see, remember which I, one it I, was, and because I remember Ronaldo sitting there being like, "I can't, I, like, I can't catch him now." Yeah, yeah like, like that was that was bullshit. Eight, eight he is, doesn't sound I still, right, bro. I still <laughs> think. I still think though, he's the best player ever of still, all time. Like, that, I'm just saying, you can't. It's it's hard to. Even though it's the biggest trophy, it's like an eight-game tournament. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm with you. Uh, to, to have the best player of the bit, year. I, I'm, is, I'm with that. But if, if, they're, if they're three players. So and, and I need you to talk passionately about the World Cup like you do on our podcast. I, love, you, I think I, it's I the love, greatest I love, thing. I love, I love it. I love it. But yeah, I, I, honestly, I didn't think. think <laughs> with the World Cup only. Because World Cup If you have the shittest season it's ever. Cut, and you have a clutch World Cup. Haaland scoring five goals against Copenhagen. Five goals against Salzburg. And they say, oh, he carried Man City. Come on, man. He just dropped two at Old Trafford, man. They had a good game. I'm talking about the Champions League last year. Ah, okay. His Champions League was overrated. His Champions League was overrated, bro. It wasn't that good. You can't be. The number one guy and not score a goal in the quarterfinals, semifinals, or finals, and be like, he's the Ballon d'Or winner because he won the trophy. Another good point, uh, I think we brought it up on the mm. podcast as well. One of the boys from Let Him Shoot, he said this. He's like, Have you ever watched a game, a Manchester City game, and was like, Hanan was man of the match? It's always been the Silva, it's always been the Bruyne. Yeah, how they, can someone who could go a whole season and barely get man of the match performances be the best player in the world? Well, his, we, yeah, yeah. He, we said he's focused on one thing. Yeah, his problem is, is he he's for 80 minutes, you don't, you don't see him. Yeah, and, and that's and his scores, issue. The tap in. But I still think, and well, you you can probably relate. Scoring goals is the hardest thing to do. Well, yeah, yeah no, I'm, I'm with that. I'm with that. So I'm, that's, I'm, that's, I'm, but I think, that, I think that gets credibility. Like, yeah, Cup boys, Messi, Messi spends ninety minutes walking around the pitch. Yes. Ninety first minute, our goal. No, but, yeah. And you say he's the best now. But yeah, come on now. He didn't used to do that. Now, no, he didn't used to. I'm saying right now. And even those goals, they're not tapins, bro. They're not tapins and those goals. It's a difference, man. But that's what um, De Paul and um. What's his name? Uh, Paredes. They were talking about. They were talking about they the Argentinians like a rule in their team. They tell Messi, 
us 10 will run for you. We, we do all the work. Yeah, we do all the work. Yeah. yeah. Particularly maybe because of his age and where he was at at the last World yeah, Cup, but it's like, true. that was no problem. Yeah. Like, no it, one's going to turn around and tell you off. It's probably like a know? goodbye thing, like, for his, like, it's like, like for but it worked, man. Yeah. Doesn't that, doesn't yeah. that like, you've got to change your perspective on the game. Yeah. Because Messi, like, even uh, Beckham spoke about it when he went and coached the Inter Miami kids. It's probably not great advice to some regard, but at the same time, it's genius. He's like, what was the message he was telling him? He's like, telling the kids, you need to walk more. Yeah. Because you'll see things better. Mm. So, like, he doesn't necessarily do it to be lazy. He's doing it because he sees everything happening around yeah. him. So, when the ball comes, he's like, no wonder your steps ahead. He's, he's already painted 15 yeah. different pictures. Because wow. when you're running and chasing, you don't see what's going on. Yeah, but I, I, but like, I think he's the only one that's… Uh, but I think like, he just keep that advice to himself. Bro, we <laughs> do that with a coach. A coach will like be like, what, what the fuck are you doing? It's yeah. like, I'm trying to see the picture. Like, get you off. Yeah. Everyone else you know? the bench. <laughs> yeah, he's the best player in the world. I think, I think the 2010 World Cup is probably more of a case of him that, not deserving that was straight it up than this one. That one. This one is a bit more like, come on. Mm. He carried Argentina to the World Cup. Yeah. yeah, and even the qualifiers too. I think he was fantastic in the qualifiers too. Like yeah. they qualified last game, I think. Well, yeah, he's yeah. Argentina were going on a run, man. Yeah. Like a like a yeah. consecutive like. Just to be fair, you're right. There probably was no like def definitive standout. Like, yeah, definitely. and historic. I knew Messi was going to win after the World Cup. You're like he's going to win it because that's how the that's yeah, how the history no of the game's gone. If there's no definitive, then yeah. yeah. that's yeah. how the game goes. But yeah. it's it's annoying to even. Well, I, when when I, when that thought crossed my mind, oh, he won the World Cup. Now he's going to win. How much you never? Like, how, how much you never ever win a Ballon d'Or in his life? I'm trying to tell you, he's not that. He's not that guy. Well, I, I said, you know how you know how there's you know how there's, oh you know how there's players. There's like different types. Uh, to, there's different types of players in the game. There's ones that control the game. There's ones that create chances. There's ones that are, are, are solid defensively, don't contribute nothing yeah. at all besides tackles. And then there's players. Who get those goals for you? Doesn't matter inside the box, outside the I'm box, with headers. That, but I'm, waiting whatever for the big goal. I'm still waiting for the big goal. What do you mean? The thing is with this what guy. What do you mean, like big goal? Okay, now goal. He, we always have this but argument. Like big game. No, 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 no. But this guy, all his big games are finals. No, it's not. No, that's, it's not. That's no, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's, it's, no, it's, it's not. It's, that's, that's the <laughs> no, it's not. Well, uh, it's how many chances do you get? Like if he he played in three finals, right? Like uh, I've got finals back to back in the Champions League. Is it home and away? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In that every game, every game, every game, semi-finals. Like how many games? You could have scored any of those games <laughs> and you score 50 goals because he's, he's, he's a stat patter. And he's, good, he's, he's a great striker, don't get me wrong. Mm. But he's not, he's not an all time, he's not, he hasn't scored one big goal, one big goal yet, man. I, you, you, he scored more goals in games almost. Though. I remember he told me something where he had to score a goal. Two, I think he scored a goal when they're behind. <laughs> remember, remember, remember the stat? Yeah, I think the, Someone Jeremy showed us a stat, I don't know if it's true or not. Yeah, Jeremy I don't that. think he scored a goal when they're behind. <laughs> yeah, Something like that. I don't know if that's true or not. He's saying, fact check. We're clipping up this off of Harland, bro. This is unbelievable. <laughs> this, this is where we get crazy. <laughs> the like, yeah. he, said, he said he didn't score, he, he never scored the first goal. That's what he said. Yeah, that, that's too much All right, can I ask you, what, do you what do you give Harland credit for? I think he's a, he's a Nothing, phenomenal finisher. No, no, what I don't. Asenio was on that bro, pitch. He can score those goals. Nah, that's the, that's, that's what he's saying. Yeah, he's a phenomenal striker, man. <laughs> his, his athleticism, man. He's a phenomenal ridiculous. striker. He, uh, honestly, and he's young. You know what I mean? So he's still got time ahead. But I don't think he's a Ballon d'Or kind of player. If he continues like this, season, if he yeah. continues like this for the rest of his career, stat padding. Who's better, him or Harry Kane? No, I'm, I'm, I'm just Who's saying to you. I, said, um, I, I would rather have Harry Kane. Yeah. He's got more to his game. That's why. Even though he's No, but I just like Harry. I like watching Harry Kane play. Hey, don't get me good. wrong. If I'm if I'm a, if I'm a club, I'm buying Harland. I'm not buying Harry Kane. About the age. Yeah, but also like Harland's going to score you sixty goals. Yeah, hey, Kane will score thirty, maybe set up twenty. But like in two years, who knows if he's going to be moving the way he is? <laughs> I love Harland. Do you? Huh? No, he's no, 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 I don't love Harland. Yeah. Like, I don't. I don't. I don't like that kind of play style. I don't like it. I like people who are more involved in the game. So for strikers, mm. I would rather Harry Kane than mm. Harland. But I, you can't deny the fact that this is just. Unbelievable what he's doing. Like, we haven't seen a striker do what he's doing like this. When's Mbappe game with a Ballon d'Or? You think Mbappe ever won a Ballon d'Or? Yeah. Oh, I think now it's Mbappe's run. Like, I, the, you know what's important for the, well, if he, you probably will go to Real, but like his next move, yeah. that's going to be dictate how many he'll win. I don't yeah. think he's, I think he's guaranteed to win. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Like, because there's no one as good as him. And he's playing, and to be fair, there's a Korean player for PSG. Have you seen him play? Yeah, he's good. Wow. He's got the goal in the Champions League. He's going to be, you know, that the, he's he's selling the second most t-shirts. Yeah. Or shirts. Jeez. Yeah, like ju just behind Mbappe. What about that what kid? The, what about the other yeah. kid that played that? Yeah, Zaya, yeah, Emery. Emery. Yeah, the he's kids. Brilliant, bro. They've, got, um, they've got another guy as well. He played against the Australia under-20s. Um, the young boy? Yeah, Zaya. Oh, I forgot what his name is now. He's a he's a midfielder, but he's yeah. playing every week for PSG. Yeah, is that, is that that's that's oh yeah, that's him, yeah, yeah. bro, he's freak, yeah. man. bro, he's, he's unbelievable. Against, he played against Australia, he bro, at under at under work. twenty yeah. level, man. Because he's like seventeen or something, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah he's like a. Yeah. It might have even been. It might
those national teams, mm. there's always two players in like massive clubs that yeah. have played like two or three yeah. appearances. Mm -hmm. So you're like, you feel like like we're we're struggling to get a game in the A League, yeah. and you're like, this guy's played like Champions League or something. So I went through his and I seen his. They had like all these followers. He'd like training every day with like Messi. Yeah. So I always Jeez. kept an eye on him. And then he's played like heaps. Yeah. He was in the Champions League game last week. His, he was the best player on the ground, bro. His first yeah. start was against Bayern in Champions League. Yeah. Oh my that God. That was nuts. And he yeah. did so well as well that yeah. game. But I'm not like, I just, French League just doesn't do it for me, man. It's too thin it's at the yeah, top. Yeah. It, 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 it is. It's, it, it's too like, it's, it's, a, it's like a monopoly, bro. With yeah, you know what I mean? It's just. We are talking about that as well. Yeah. It's always a Premier League. Think about it. Yeah, mm. I know, but I like that. Like a Sheffield can can yeah. beat a team or I, something I, I, like that, yeah, in, in, which in, in, does happen in the French league. But don't not, get me but wrong. But if you look at the winners yeah. of the league, like same same with the Scottish Premier League, it's like that's yeah. all you need to know. Even though Man City's dominating, it's like yeah, they can below that. below that sort of eight, that second to eight can. You, you, you can never know, man. Yeah, you never know now. Chelsea can drop. Chelsea can go up. Like all this stuff happening. Drop. Let's just keep it at that. Yeah, we're gonna get into the Prem, but I do want to talk because obviously Messi went to Miami, which was. A big move, but the the move that looked like was going to happen was to Saudi Arabia. Yeah, and that since we we, yeah, we, we last spoke, yeah. Saudi Arabia was not in the picture. I was going to talk to you about that, but Qatar was. Well, was it? Yeah, I remember Qatar was. Was, was, was he? Asked well, we're about, talking about the World Cup. We're talking about World Cup at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we didn't really speak yeah, on like, okay. but I don't know. Did you guys see this? See this coming at all with the the money being put into the game and attracting the amount of quality that they have? Oh, like it's ridiculous, man. Uh, are, you, are you a fan of it? Um, nah, nah. Only because I don't, I don't know why, but I just feel like I don't know. This is what I was actually going to ask you. It's like, do you think it's healthy for the game to break away from this? Europe is the pinnacle of the game because obviously it's a world game. Yeah, it, it is a world game. But the, the scary thing for me, just on that, sorry, yeah, was Saudi good, Arabia was when they start getting plays that are at 22, 23, 24, like Neves. Yeah. Nevers is 24. Yeah. And he's gone there. And I'm like, bro, oh, that's dangerous, man. Yeah. That's but, I feel like, but I, I, I yeah. feel like, but I feel like they missed out on their boat with Mbappe. I think Mbappe was the real big one. Oh, that's what I was going to stay for a year, though. Yeah, but I think if they got Mbappe, now we're talking because now they can get players from like the championship and stuff like that to go to come there. You know what I mean? Yeah. But like, I don't know what the actual plan is. Their plan is to get into Europe, isn't it? Their plan is to get the World Cup. That's the lot. That's, that's, that's the can't, 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 They're trying to buy a that. qualification though into the Champions League. Yeah, that's what it is. They're trying to get their league into, into they'll Europe. Eventually get they, they're going to get the World Cup. They, I reckon no, they should have got the World Cup. They've got to move their league, country, bro. man. Yeah. yeah, but mind you, FIFA's very corrupt, so there, there's probably a possibility yeah, that they'll get the World Cup. I thought they should have got the World Cup over Qatar. Yeah. I don't know we, I don't know we spoke about this last time, but I think they should have got the World Thank Cup over Qatar. Qatar. Huh? Thank God Qatar got it. Allah. Not really, because Qatar Allah. was like, Qatar was straight corruption. Like, they, they had nothing to offer except they didn't have hotels, but like, yeah, we'll get, we'll grab containers. They, because, built, they built everything yeah, from we'll scratch. Containers yeah. sleep there. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's like it makes you. You know what I mean? So, do you do you think they get uh, the it's bad for the game? Well, yeah, good, bad for the game. But do you think also it's going to stay around? Like in 10, 15 years time, you're nah, going to see bro. the Honestly, same same volume of investment. If they, if they can keep the money like that, they, they got they, they got they got they got yeah. Then, they, then they'll keep attracting. But, players. but attracting who? But like not not what you're washed Just up. Just like rather. you said, championship players. Champion, hey, I it's don't washed up. Has it? Huh? It's not washed up. We're not talking into the most goals. I think I think it's. It's 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 not good for football. It's good for the other sports. What they're doing with boxing, mm. UFC. Actually, even boxing has sort of ruined that a little bit too. Because now the fighters they only want to fight there. Yeah, you know what I mean. You know, you know what it is. Hasn't you actually brought up a very good point on the pod. You were saying. I did. You remember <laughs> the first time? <laughs> <laughs> but I remember we were arguing. We were saying like, is this going to develop their football? And you, and I was bringing the US example for yeah, instance when yep. David Beckham went there. Yeah, their league is developing now. They bringing players like Pulisic and whoever. And yeah. America's right now competing in the World Cup and yeah. making it to every World Cup. And you were saying that Saudi Arabia don't need that. They actually have football culture. They have, they have a football culture. They, have they already, actually yeah. have a league. Like yeah. we got relatives that live there and stuff like that. So we're actually familiar with them. They actually have good players. Yeah, we so know it's mm. Al-Hilal al, -Hilal al -Hilal. We actually know these clubs. But yeah, some this I don't know if we spoke about this last time. Like, uh, what's his name? Uh, the guy from UAE, the number 10. Um, uh, UAE? Abdurrahman? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Abdurrahman. Yeah, yeah Abdurrahman. Yeah. Oh Man, God. he was Yeah, he, he was good enough to be in Europe, but yeah, he didn't want to move because yeah, like he's he's a king there and yeah. he gets enough. He gets more money than anyone. Yeah, they actually have a football so culture. So they have players there, but like there's no, like it was Saudi Arabia when they beat Argentina. They, there was Argentina, that, man, they all got given on. some cars and they, all they, that sort they of stuff. They actually have like, a good football culture. Like they, those clubs, it's hard. They're not makeshift clubs. Yeah. Like they've actually been around for like you see, 50, it, you see it now because we're in Asia when soccer is played. Yeah. Um, the middle, particularly Saudi Arabia. We it's it's not an easy yeah. game. Yeah, they beat us. They, they, they beat us a lot. You know really good, bro. Yeah. Now yeah. they actually do have good players, and they can. I can see it, like the Champions League thing happening. Yeah. I think I don't think they'll be like as far off as uh, 
I don't know, RB Leipzig, for instance. I don't think they're going to do any worse. No, of course, yeah. And, and even geographically, so. like the scenes from Israel, the scenes from like Azerbaijan and you play in Europe. Mm. Mm. It's not that far. So but, geographically. But it's also very tough. Um, yeah, but they'll have an advantage too. Imagine playing in Riyadh for a game, an away game. You're going to get the yes, humidity. Right. You're going to yeah. get, it's a different vibe. You but, know? But, so but there's but an then, advantage too. We'll UEFA changed the rules in terms of like the purchase, like in terms of like the whole financial fair play stuff. And then mm. what would play, if, they, if, if I can make the same amount of money living in Saudi or living in England, I think most people would take the, the, the rather say in England, right? In Saudi Arabia, mm. you know? But I don't know what the end game is. They, well, this think this is my thing. Where does it go? Like, do they know, just I, keep buying buying players? Like, I want to ask you something, actually, because you because you were talking about Qatar. Yeah. You're, a man, you're, you're a Man United supporter, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm oh, legend. Yeah, he's a big, yeah, big United supporter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so <it's good. laughs> you wanted, wanted Qatar to buy your club. Because you we spoke about human rights and all that kind of stuff. Uh, like, yeah, 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 yeah. So you were you happy? Throw that out the window if you want. Now, now <laughs> as a United supporter, were you disappointed? That that they didn't buy us? Yeah, now you're getting that, that broke English one. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, because he's one, that guy, Jim, Jim Ratcliffe, yeah, not even, he's not even buying the club. Yeah. He's buying like 20%. Yeah. So uh, that's just confusing me even more. Yeah. Um, yeah, I would have taken. I would have taken. I would have taken some oil money. There in the club for sure. See, that's what I'm saying. The sugar daddies, let's man, bring them through. Look, look what Man City. They've won the last four Premier Leagues, yeah. and like, uh, where did that come from? Yeah, Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so it's the same thing. But I don't know. Uh, I'm interested to see where it goes. It's would you would you have gone Saudi Arabia in your in your heyday to play? <laughs> Bro, Money, would have, like, on, <laughs> Bro, I wouldn't have blinked. <laughs> Craig Goodwin, they, he's an Australian. He went um, yeah. from Adelaide. He played at the World Cup. He scored. He, he scored. He scored against, yeah. Scored against yeah. Um, yeah. Denmark. Was it no? no against, yeah. It was a deflection, no? But like, yeah, oh, yeah, was, bro, it was a mad yeah, goal. Yeah. We don't, we don't, we don't ride in the world. He's Cup, a great, we? he's a great player. But yeah. he yeah. went there. He scored two, uh, two days ago or a day yeah. ago against Ger uh, Stephen Gerrard's team. Oh, Apparently, oh. unbelievable goals, but I haven't seen them. Okay, I saw I a post saying unbelievable. Yeah. No one sees their goals. Uh, people, people only see Ronaldo highlights. Yeah, I know. I they're spending all these billions, oh, and I, no one watches them. I think the club's um, page because they tagged there as well. Oh, really? Like Seventy-seven thousand followers or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, what's going on here? Whose page is that? The club's page. But Seven, see, they got seventy-seven thousand I mean. followers. Yeah. I'm pretty you know sure I mean? Al Nasser had like, not. I'm not going to say that seventy-seven thousand, but they didn't have many. And then Ronaldo comes, they're like, bang, straight away. They get you know. It's only the ones that we've heard. So Ittifaq, Al Hilal. Um, Al Ahli yeah. and um, um, uh, Al Ittihad. I mean, those I, I are the ones. That the are, those are the ones that are now popular. Yeah. yeah. Everyone else is doing a rockers, bro. It's just. Nice. Would, you, would you play? Is Saudi Saudi? Like, if you're 25 at the peak of your powers and you got a money deal, of course, you go? dude. I'll play in Antarctica, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Bro, I don't know I don't <laughs> I'm not one of those like I don't have too many principles like that. But yeah, like yeah. That. But see, there, you know there is the this thing. Show me the bag. <laughs> yeah. There is a, there is a lot of principle though with. With so, players that have been in Europe for a long time that yeah. they're condemning players going to Saudi. Exactly. Yeah. Like yeah. human rights. Like, like Zlatan as well. He's like, man, best players play in Europe, at, you know, all yeah. that sort of stuff. Because these players don't come from rich families, man. Secure the bag, man. Go get I, it. That's why I don't, yeah. yeah exactly yeah, yeah. right. Exactly right. It's I think it's a great man. move. If you're later on in your career, it's a no-brainer. Yeah. If you're younger, I'd like to see you stick it. Like Neves at 24. Yeah, I know. That, I would that, like that. his next move to have been like Man City yeah. or Chelsea but, but, or something but, but, but like that. But if he still plays for Portugal, then did he really miss out on anything? Well, maybe not, but maybe you go there for two years and you secure the money and then, yeah. like, and then but you could back. probably do that later in your career, you exactly. know? Exactly. The problem is the level, bro. Imagine changing from that into, you go into your national team and then you play England or something. Yeah. Like, you just went from playing against uh, Etihad or Etihad yeah, or something. Etihad is mean, good. Yeah. Etihad, my bad, sorry. Well, like, the, the four top tier ones are fantastic. They're actually decent. But man. the other ones that we don't even know the names of, imagine playing against those and you can't be worse three weeks in, in the Dutch league or the French league. I don't think so. No, no, no. I, I, I Think it was, nah, it didn't I make think, I think that would be big. There's a culture that. there, bro. Surely you don't I have know. thirty guys just in uh, thirty guys watching you. You know what I mean? Like it's different, man. I've seen like some of the games they have there. Who them? Oh, you see the car park and shit. <laughs> you can see the car like you see the cars parked behind and the goals. Bunch bro. Of people wearing Hey guys, just a quick pause in this episode to let you know that I've partnered with Vibe Culture. Now, I don't know about you, but I love having a good time on the weekend, socializing with my mates over a few beers, but I also love seizing the day and being productive. And that's where Vibe Culture comes in. Their new wake up blend, I've got the tropical punch here, is the perfect way to seize your day just with a scoop of it into your water bottle in the morning and it'll keep you going. It's also a really good replacement for coffee for those big coffee drinkers out there that need to keep going back for the second and third and fourth to get those energy hits. This will get your day going after those late nights, movie marathons or even those hangovers to keep you on track for the day. Now, what I love about them, as I said, it's a very healthy replacement. They've got it down to two grams of sugar and 54 calories per serving. And it's not about what's low inside. It's about what's packed in it. And their infused herbs with their botanical blend, Vibe Culture's got going, makes it the perfect recipe and the perfect boost for me in the day. 
Also, what I love about this company is they want to look after you, the Unlaced listeners. So if you head to the Vibe Culture website, which is in the bio below, and you plug in the discount code UNLACED, you'll get 15% off your first purchase and the morning will thank you. So get around them. It's a great brand doing great things and I love having it to kickstart my day. Let's get back into the episode. I want to talk that old Classico because that just happened and Spanish League now is back on my radar because... Your, boy, your boy's on it. Yeah, my boy. Jude. Yeah. <laughs> shout out Jude Bellingham, bro. Yeah. The guy's a... He's going to be... You said more than game. a footballer. You said that last time. I yeah, mean, now said, I'm calling again. Yeah, you said you said he's gonna be the best player in the world. Did I actually in less say two that? Years. I swear you did. Yeah. You what? said he's gonna be the best player in the world in less than two years. <laughs> I mean, before, before the World Cup. Really? And I, I thought you said that word for word, but you, well, like, you, you were hyping him up. I remember. That. I know. I've always been a fan of him, but to yeah. go like I, you, I, you said, you said he's gonna be the best player in the world. Bro, we might have to great to find it. Check that out, bro. Great to find it. Find it. He said it. I'm 100 percent sure. Yeah, bro. That's the first time I ever thought like put him in that realm, like. Well, he, it's, we spoke with the Bell and Dobby Ford, and there's no doubt he's if if we're count where there's a vote yeah. check now, he's number one. Yeah, like there's no one. Like near for him. The do, you, do you actually believe that he's going to be like, like a Zidane or some shit? Well, to be fair, what he's done at Real has caught me by surprise. Even still to this point where I'm like, he's got to slow down now. Do you know what I mean? Even though I know ability wise, he's that good because what stands out to me is not only his technical ability, his physicality. He's tall. He's relatively quick. He's technical. But he's also got a like a very strong personality, which you need. That's what I like about him. Because he he played 16, 17, then went to Bundesliga, took over the league, really, and then was captaining Dortmund in like games at 18, 19. Yeah. So he's got personality. And then you see him at the World Cup, he doesn't care. Doesn't care it's a big stage. So I'm like, he's got it, he's gonna be, if not the one of the best players, he'll be the best midfielder in the world. But the goal aspect, I, didn't see, I, 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 I didn't did not see that, see that coming. Same, same here. I didn't know he's, that. He, he's been doing that. He's a goal scoring midfielder. Yeah, I know, but, but that's no, scary. But part, scoring bro. like the guy, like he's he's their guy, their goal scorer. Yeah. When like yeah. do you know yeah. what I mean? What, you, what you really think of him? He's one ACL injury away. Yeah, that's what he reckons. <laughs> he reckons the walking ACL injury <laughs> the away. The way he moves, right? Ah, uh, yeah, he's got like he's he's scary, lanky. man. But see, don't you think? Couldn't you say that about like a Zidane? Zidane moved funny. Nah, Zidane not was not elegant, like, though, not man. like. He looks could, like. How can you portray? Like how can you perceive this guy's gonna have a? No, no, it's, no, it's like no, it's always no, like no, a last minute thing. thing you know? We got someone from my neighborhood. He's a really good player, and this guy called out. He's like, this guy is gonna do his ACL. Oh, no, and gonna, don't I've don't had say three other men. I hope he doesn't have it this year because he he deserves like he deserves. Well, I checked the ladder. They're they're on top, you know, and it's you can't say he hasn't been the most important player. He's so. a superstar, man. He's got that mentality. You're right. You know yeah. what, what, what scares me the most is I, I was like hoping that his side of the game that he's going to like dominate in wouldn't be the goal scoring side. Because yeah. if it's that and that goes away, he's automatically going to be seen as an average midfielder. Yeah. No one's going to say, oh, this is, he's such a special player. He's over-delivering. Right he now, means right? like if the goals don't stop, if the goals uh, don't stop, he'll be considered one of the greatest, greatest ever. No, but, we but, watch, you, watch, but you watch the game, but you can see like, he makes talk. tackles. He does other things. Too. I know, like, but yeah, those but things go like you know. Do you know why? Miss, you know? Do you know why though? I don't. I don't. You know why the goals won't stop? Mm. Is because the way the goals he scores, he's scoring goals like strikers. Yeah, man. He's not scoring yeah. like long goals or scoring like mad. Fi- he's scoring tap-ins. He's yeah. like. John, like, as they honest, say, boys. Johnny on the spot. Because one, he's got the freedom to do that, which yeah. he's never had before. He used to be more of a holding, a yeah. bit more of a number eight. Now he's literally playing like a false nine or a, a, an, an out and out 10. Yeah. And the goals he's scoring, I'm like, they're scrappy goals, which they is, very scrappy. which is as a midfielder, is the best feeling ever. Because you don't really, if you're scoring goals like them, you're going to score 20 goals a year. But yeah. the thing is, you can't score 20 goals a year. How many outside of those the box. can he really score a year? Like, every, it feels like it's falling he's on his lap. He's already in double figures. Yeah, he is. He's, he's already in double figures. And that goal in the classic El Clasico. Remember, we we're talking about big even, games? We're not yeah. even in no. That's what I'm talking about big games. Like we've a big game moment. I think they were 1 0 yeah. down, was it? They were 1 0 yeah. down? Yeah, they were. Yeah. And he just, that, that strike was good. Uh, oh, unbelievable. Yeah. Man, that's the timing the timing of the goal, you know? And then to score the winner. That's. I yeah, hate celebration though. Yeah, he's oh. did the celebration. Doing, uh, NPL games, everyone's doing it too now. What? Uh, what? Yeah, I watched that, the Amazon Heights game uh, uh, in the uh, final. Uh, the guy, the, the guy scored yeah? it. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll do it for a long time. I'm huh? not happy with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the most overrated celebration. Yeah, anyway. yeah. You'll do, yeah, you yeah. do it for a laugh. Like we, we joke a lot about. Yeah, it. We've yeah. seen a lot of memes, so I'll yeah. do it just to make people laugh. Yeah. But you won't do it as a serious celebration. No, no, no. There's no way. Unless you do something crazy. I saw someone do the um. I can't. You know, my big thing. I don't care if. I would never do another player's celebration. Yeah. Like people that do Ronaldo's or someone who scored yeah, yeah, who scored in the weekend in the A-League and did oh um, the guy from Victory. Mm. He's 
Kimball would great goal, but he did the Rashford celebration. I'm like, yeah. bro, I'm not giving another man that credit. Yeah. Yeah. Like, if you're an athlete, Rashford come on, man. But Ronaldo. You know what that tells me? It tells me that your league is so far below the Premier League or uh, something okay. like that. Yeah. When yeah. you're in the same celebration yeah, as the players. True. Like, like yeah. you're a professional true. player too. You could, bro, you could come you could up against them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just can't do it. Yeah, no, Maybe that's my ego. Maybe that's my ego. Yeah, one day you're going to play against and be like, that guy's, he already knows he's going to beat you. Yeah. Now, so. if, if I play against Ronaldo, I'm definitely doing this. Right. <laughs> I'm definitely, <laughs> well, I, would, I would definitely do that. Because it's your hero. That's it. Like, yeah, I don't Ronaldo, care. Ronaldo, yeah, like, when you're playing, you're going to put the pom-poms yeah. down. I get what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. No, if I'm hey, playing you know, pom-poms high or like, <laughs> <laughs> like this, <laughs> talking about. Yes. Uh, uh, 100%, bro. <laughs> hey, you know uh, what's interesting? I don't even know this team that well, but Girona, you know they're on the same points as Real? Are they? They're on 28 points. Like, Dude, that's Spanish right. league. Girona is on 28 points. They're, they're second in... in um, uh, Barcelona I think on top? Uh, Barcelona on top? No, Real's oh, on, Real top on top. Because of the El Clasico. Oh, I think okay. Barca's on 25 points now. Yeah. Were so, they having a sticky season? Barcelona, Barcelona, Real, Madrid. Real Madrid just started off bad. Yeah, they started yeah, off they shit, yeah? Right yeah, now, yeah. yeah? No, they're on top. I checked today. Yeah. And and oh. even in the um, UCL... But, the, Bally, but Bally will be, the, be defined by what he does for England. I'm telling you. That's his legacy. Boy, oh, he's, he's doing well so far, yeah, man. No, no, when he goes back to England, he's doing but the same he, thing he does at if Real. He wins, if he wins the Euro or like he he goes on a run to the Euro, that's yeah. what cements your legacy as an all time all time great. I don't think yeah. he's far from being the best English player ever if he does that. Yeah, yeah. If he wins the thing. Yeah, he has he definitely he has, that potential. He has all the all the makings. If he to takes be, him to a major, if, if he takes it to a major tournament, yeah. and like if he takes him like to the final, and he. That Euros, yeah. That yeah he's, Euros? he's already the next captain of England. A hundred percent. Like he, he, he'll captain, probably be he, like maybe Kane has the Euros, but then after that, it's Bellingham. Yeah. If he goes now, nice and wins the the um, yeah, La Liga, I know where you're going. I'm just this. going. I'm just I'm going. going with this. He's going to end up with a Ballon d'Or. Yeah. Just, let me build up yeah. to it. La Liga. Okay. Champions League. Then does does well in the Euros, but doesn't win it. How well? How well? How well did he? How how well was his performance in the Euro? Very good. Okay. Then 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 he's a Ballon d'Or player. I think it's a good super Wait, so you're saying if he wins, if he wins La Liga hey, dude, I, I, and the Champions I, 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 League, but does shit in Euros, he doesn't get the Ballon d'Or. Like, no, 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 no. It's a mix okay. too. You have to have something. He doesn't stand out, but he does okay. He does the job. Like he doesn't score the goals that he was doing in the Champions League. No, no, no. League. But he had, but he had a good performance. Decent. Hey, listen, man. When we're talking about the greats that win this kind of stuff, we're picking nits. Yeah. So it has to be like, I'm not, we're not asking for a perfect performance. But then what happens? What happens if, if say, say for example, like, I'll, 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 give, you, I'll goal, give you the worst, the worst, worst, worst example. Say they win the Euros. So he won, he won La Liga. And Champions League, and they win the Euros, but he didn't do anything. But Harry Kane carried the shit out of the, the, the team. No Ballon d'Or. No, no, no Ballon d'Or. Ballon d'Or to Harry Kane? It has to be. No, no, no Ballon d'Or to Harry Kane. To, <laughs> but to, to someone else, but not, not him. Even though he. You know, Champions League was the thing that like they had to win to, to get the Ballon d'Or. Like when it was Ronaldo and Messi, yeah. was who won the Champions League? Who did better in Champions League? That time, mm. when there's no that, that time was it, that, Ronaldo and Messi ruined how Ballon d'Or people think of Ballon d'Ors. But when there's no in the, in the 2000s and 90s, it was always like every year was the best mm. play. It was like, even George Weah won one year. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> so, like Nedved won one year. You know, Ronaldo won one year. Kaká won one year. Like Henri, so only like Henri is the player that should have won it. I think got robbed. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm robbed. after the World Cup, what what what's next? What what holds the like the most Champions League? Champions League, yeah. So if you smash it in the Champions League, does it doesn't guarantee you a Ballon d'Or? No, 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 I don't think so. Allah. I don't. Unless you go really? on a magical run. Like, I don't think so. I don't know. Like a Benzema run. Like a Benzema run. Yeah, like ben, Benzema. Benzema got robbed. For sure. I mean, sorry, uh, Lewandowski. Lewandowski. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lewandowski. 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 yeah, I reckon he got robbed. Yeah, he did, he did. And the 2021. And then ben, yeah, got, Benzema, yeah. when was it? Was it the... 2021, I think. Benzema. Yeah, ben, Benzema, I think, should have won one as well. Yeah, but Benzema did get one. Did get one. He didn't no, win. but the year before that. No, I don't think so. Was it the year before? When yeah, he, was, no, no, he only had one splendid year. The year before he, was Modric. But he had a good year his whole career, but that's what people remember. Was no, the year sorry, you, I'm talking about Lewandowski. Yeah, yeah, Lewandowski, 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 Lewandowski was it wrong. Was, it was the COVID, then Modric, then Benzema, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah the COVID one's the Lewandowski one, yeah. I'm glad he Benzema. But it's crazy that Benzema at 34, whatever he was, well, had the season he had at Real. Nice, yeah. like, strikers are getting better as they get older. That, that never used to be the case. It used to be that they peak young and then die out older. Now they're... Yeah. Some like... They're leading the leading the line for some of the best clubs in the world. Yeah, but he, he, uh, but, but Bellingham, he'll be an all like his brother's even getting like more like a, a lot of love because of him. No, but yeah. his brother isn't even that special. Like I, I get now that they're saying all this stuff, but yeah. I watch this stuff when he's playing for Sunderland. So do you think? Do you think that. the Spanish league has the best young players in the world? Uh, Barcelona team's all like little. Fu- well, the Barca team's got all these young kids yeah. coming through. Then Real, even Real, you think of like. Vinny, Rodrigo, they're still yeah, they're, they're under. They're from outside, though. They're not. They're not really from La Liga. But the Barcelona that's ones, true. they're from the that's system. That's true. But I'm talking like that's the way. That's the league where they're
Which Bellingham was. Bellingham. Bellingham's, Bellingham's He's one of the three. Three. Eng- England is still producing some. Wow, England's unbelievable, man. Yeah, they're still producing some. Like, yeah. I get the La Liga thing, but England still has some, bro. England's youngsters? junior teams. Yeah, England's youngsters. junior teams, like under 21s. Some under, nuts team, they're, bro. They're, they're, they have people like Curtis Jones, Elliot, yeah, Harvey, yeah, yeah. Harvey Elliott. They're playing guys starting in the Prem, playing yeah. like under yeah. 19. Yeah. 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 Okay, fair enough. Yeah. That's, that's a nuts team, bro. It's crazy. Yeah, um, we, we spoke about this and we, I think we, we said that we, you agree as well after the Brazilians it's the French what the quality the most talented players yeah, yeah Brazilian, Brazilian French, French, yeah. Are wild, but because, French are wild before, because of immigration let's be honest but <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, yeah. it is what it is you know what I mean yeah, yeah you but, think it's what it is yeah, come on. He just keeps playing on the street all the time it's all the, first well, they, they have the um, Claire Fontaine as well they have like some of the yeah. best academies yeah academy set up I want to ask you something what makes a good we, we had we had a brother we had a massive argument on our, on our podcast once mm. about the Matilda about the I don't know if we want to talk about that <laughs> no, no, no. about the about the, <laughs> no 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 like, just don't get me cancelled bro no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, I love I the Matilda run mm. I, was, I was a big fan of it you know what I mean mm. yeah yeah well, I, I was I mean, just ask, ask him that question let's, let's yeah, ask him who's the best Australian footballing product manager player no 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 manager 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 footballing product so let's put that no 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 footballing product it has to be something you know everything everything together like he thinks it's Sam Kerr. I think Sam Kerr. I think it's Ange Postecoglou, the best Australian football product that we've ever had. I, th- I think it could have been as in now of all of time. Of all time, uh, I'm gonna say Harry Kill. See, that's what that's what, that's what Archie said too. Because you guys are going by oh, talent. No, no, because at the time when Harry Kill was doing what he was doing, of no one, it, 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 was, it hadn't it was, happened. He was unbelievable. Oh. But Sam Kerr is like only- what Sam Kerr is doing now for the female game, being on FIFA and stuff. That like she's breaking those grounds. That's what I'm saying. That's what Harry Kill was doing back then. He, she, bro, was, he was leading the line at like 21 for lead, scoring at Old Trafford. Oh, oh, We'd okay, never seen that before. Huh? Okay. <clears throat> was he ever close to the Ballon d'Or? She was second this morning. Was, exactly, man. Yeah, but yeah, uh, yeah, true. Just, Come on. Sam, no, we're, Sam, about, Sam we're, talk, we're talking about a great player. I was talking, you're talking like my opinion. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Uh, and, and, and that's what the footballer said. That's what Archie Thompson said too. Archie's like, because so, you guys are footballers, you guys look at a player and you're like, that guy was special. I just think, yeah, player. Harry Kuehl was, he, he played like a bazillion in an Australian shirt. We yeah, haven't seen I, that. He was, he was phenomenal. Yeah, on that. On that point, I'll give you an if. How about if Azani never got that injury? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Because I've seen a lot of Azani's though. You, you have? Yeah, I've seen a lot of Azani's. I thought he was special, bro. I, that I World Cup game. No, more no, special no. than Harry Kewell, technically. Yeah. I really I'm think so. Sure. Yeah. Bro! You don't think so? <laughs> what? Come on, man. Harry Kewell? Harry Kewell played played for Liverpool, turned down Barcelona. I was only placed for victory. I remember that. I remember him. I was only placed for victory. Yeah, but Azani in the World Cup against France was giving them the work. I think it's crazy to say uh, Harry Kewell was like a Brazilian like uh, star. Bro, you ask Alvaro Rocoba who played for Uruguay. Oh, like, he's like, that's the only player we worry about. He's a, he's a South American in that team. Yeah, he was good. good when they good, when good, we were qualifying, good, 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 good player no, too. you guys didn't. You guys don't know Harry Kewell. I, 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 I've seen, I've seen Harry, Harry Kewell. I watched like oh. I was that generation. I didn't like, know I, it was like that. No, Harry Kewell, nah, Harry bro. Like I'm that. talking like you watch Leeds highlights of Harry Kewell. You see what I'm saying? You go Leeds. Harry Kewell was phenomenal. Like I'm just talking at that point. The greatest product probably for me now would be Ange. Be, just yeah, because I, I never yeah. thought that I'd see that in my lifetime. I reckon success I, everywhere. And Sam, Sam, like Sam Kerr from a female point of view, no, that should I, be the greatest female footballer ever. That's what I think. And she's in the top five of like Australian football icons, like male and female. Mm-hmm. Yeah. To make her number one, I, I don't know. Because the female Kerr, game's just like, just okay, got big. Some, okay, okay, let's, let's, talk about, let's talk about like, some. Okay, let's, let's, let's break it down like this, right? <laughs> Sam Kerr changed the game. You'll see in the next 20 years, there'll be that much kids, females, playing for, uh, football because of her. Yeah, in Australia. Harry Kill sh- didn't do that for nobody. Harry Kill was no kid in Australia wanted to be Harry Kill. I know the kid that time. No kid wanted to be Harry Kill. Yeah, yeah but he changed because he, he never made it. No, it's not his fault, but he just never made it to the top. Injury. Yeah, but whatever, I'll, I'll, if Harry Kill, if Harry Kill had a World Cup in Australia and he was captain, and mm. then maybe it's oh, different. I think you guys are overblowing this man. And, and if he had no, 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 I want to have Harry Kill. Nah, but social media. You know what's crazy is like you know how we talked about like the no like the David Beckham documentary or like where they were following around doing all that. Dude, Sam Kerr's injury. When she had that at the World Cup, like the the media across her yeah. calf yeah. just tells you how big she was. She, that's what I'm it's saying. It's like, oh, she was walking good today. It's like yeah. people are looking at yeah, that. Exactly. Like, that's what I'm saying. She's on that she's level. She's huge. Yeah. She's quite, 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 Because what we were talking about was, because how the argument started was, we were talking about like Australia's funding like 100 million or something for those, female. Those and he's saying they should invest the same thing into the male, like the, uh, and like to, into male sports, like to the, the football for males. And, oh, I, and I said, yeah. I don't think football will ever, ever we're too late. We're too far behind. We're too far behind. Yeah, the, 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 the soccer the Unless we yeah. get to the semi-finals, uh, we'll never change the culture in terms of the footy. You're, you're a footy guy like yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we'll never change the culture in terms of footy. footy. I love footy, bro. <laughs> I'm a Johnson supporter, man. <laughs> I, watch, I, I watch all the you footy. You keep me guessing, bro. I watch, I watch all the guys you got here. <laughs> That's why. He's bad. He's yeah. bad, dog. Now, you know what's interesting is, um, 
Yeah, I don't know. I feel like because we've made the last five World Cups to go to that next level. Will to, we ever? Well, it's tough, man. Like us getting out of the group the way we have like a few times has been ridiculously unbelievable. Like we, I don't think we've but, had the but, right to get out of some. But of the do you think that that's have. what changes the culture? I think we need one player to make it to the top, like of the, like. Are you, you judging see everything? As in, I don't, are you define judging? the top though? Okay, good question. Because like, 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 Harry Kew won the Champions League, started no, in the Champions keep, League yeah, with half a groin. He was sticking up the joint. He got something yeah, half. Like, he got something. Yeah, but <laughs> you, you know what they spoke about with that is he couldn't walk, yeah, and he, Benitez injuries, still picked him. Injuries plagued him because he knew how good he was. Injuries plagued him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like that's what I'm saying. He was that. That's what that's what I'm saying. He was that guy. He made a fight. He what made a fight. Liverpool, Liverpool, Liverpool won the huh? Champions League when he was there. I'm talking about like a player. No, no, but like, is it, you see how when, when and Aussie, and Aussie needs to be there for. When you're saying we're so far behind everyone, the, the, you're just the, the, comparing the, 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 the soccer rules, yeah. Soccer You're not comparing players individually because we have players that are playing in Europe. We have players that are playing against the top teams. Yeah, and we always have that. We, we, we always have. But you, you're not seeing more of that now. People going from the A League straight to there. I don't think so, man. Come but on, isn't bro. it interesting, right? Our our golden generation. We didn't. We didn't we, have nothing here at the time. They made and they had they played in like some proper league, team. Yeah. yeah, but their team uh, last at the last World Cup got to the same point. Yeah, and none of them like are playing for the same level. So yeah. it just shows like what which one what's what more was. important. Yeah, no, there was there was some though. I, I think, there no, was no, some. that was a good player. No, well, like going into that World Cup, our key player was probably Hustic, who played for. Um, um, the team in uh, in it's, it, yeah, Farmers played, League, bro. Basically, yeah, but Where? like you're right, it was a good team, Bundes, but like not Bundesliga. Where? It wasn't like a you know an Everton yeah, or a, yeah. you know what I mean. But like so, these guys, what they did last last at the last World the, Cup, the, still we, we, yeah. not spoken about enough. You know, I I I, I predicted he can check the tape too. <laughs> I predicted we'll make it out of the group. Remember, I did. Remember, yeah, we, that's out of oh, you yeah. didn't. It's out of love, hasn't it? No, did I, I, I say, did I, I say I, that? I, yeah, nah, I think I, I think I kind of. Mm. I did. I, I walked on the fence, yeah, but I yeah. said it's possible. I said, we're, I said, convincing on my chest, we're making out of the group. Well, but why? Yeah, that was huh? big. Why, I, just, I just thought we could. Uh, for me, it was like for me, it was like the the Denmark game was a critical one and Tunisia. Yeah, we spoke I, about. We that. spoke that. Remember, yeah. I, was, I was like, I guess France. I know we'll turn up because we, we can pack the bus better than any other team. I always said that. Yeah, we got twenty players. Not one player pulls a hamstring. Not one player pulls a muscle. Nothing. Just fit. Yeah. 20 feet players. I think that the person who's going to take us to the top and develop it is, is Ange, man. It's Ange. Yeah. What well, he's doing at Tottenham right now as well, the best start apparently a Premier, a Premier League manager has ever had. Let's uh, let's best. go let's go into the Premier and start with Tottenham because uh -huh. similar to Bellingham, we're kind of like we're we're not shocked, but at the same time, it's like when is this gonna yeah. when is this gonna taper off? Because I think Ange's biggest knock is his squad depth. So it probably helps that they're not in the Champions League yeah, and so yeah. forth. But still, is it is that going to get tested? Because they always say with the Premier League when you're when you come into that Christmas New Year period, that's if the, you're still there, yeah. you're 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 a good chance. You know what I mean? But do you, do you yeah. think he can stay there? I think he I think he's like, more signings by by that he time, bro. That, it, that team window. that team is like two injuries away yeah, from collapsing, bro. That's about. But you know, it's like, it's like that. Let's remember the year Leicester one, where every week where everyone's just waiting for it to fall off, yeah. and it never did. Mm. I think this is the same thing. No, but that, that's yeah, something that you didn't like. You you would never expect them so to you're do. You're saying that. they're not going to win the league. 100%. But with this team, they, before the season started, bro, I if they do, I mean, it's possible. But I just think like City and Arsenal have too much. They have too much firepower. I think if they win, you can't say less. Like City, season, City and Arsenal are not going to drop off. Like they'll they'll stay with you. So it, you can't you can't make Arsenal, you. Can, I'm not afraid yeah, of Arsenal at all. <laughs> no, but Arsenal like they, there's something about them that they're always there though, aren't they? At the moment, yeah, but they'll fall off. If if Spurs can if Spurs lose both games against City, let's just say they they lose both games against City, they're not dropping points against any other teams. Mm. So as long as the other teams sort of like drop points, well, you know, I think they can win the league. I, I think they can win the league. Teams it's a Prem, good time though. for them to win the league because Man City's dropped off a touch. Yes. Arsenal still doesn't have a proper nine. Yeah. Like even though Enketia is scoring and stuff, they still don't have yeah. that that main number nine that's going to score them 30, 40 goals a year. And Liverpool's like, not at their best as well. And Liverpool's a bit off the mark. Yeah. Manu and Chelsea know to be seen. That, that's yeah. a great yeah. time for them to win. This is the best time. This is the yeah. only time. You know yeah, it's mean? a great time. And but the same thing we were saying last year for Arsenal as well. Yeah. But they need they need more depth. Who, like, what do they need? A striker? I think they need a bit of everything. A midfielder, mm -hmm. like they, they, they sold a lot. They brought in, they brought in that Van, Van der Ven, I think. Yeah, the defender, he's defender. good. Yeah. He's, he's, they he's brought he's in fantastic. the keeper, who's good. Madison's been key. Oh yeah. my but God. Madison, right now, is like playing the Premier League. Right yeah, now. Madison, yeah. exactly. I miss Madison. I love him. Yeah. I loved him, man. He's, he's been like the most. Yeah, because they're on top right now. Yeah, hundred percent. Well, if you think about their what's been key to them winning, it's been Madison's game, and they're on top. So that makes him the best player. See, this is the same thing that we were saying last year. I was saying this about Arsenal. Like for Arsenal to win the Premier League. Every single player in that team has to have an outstanding season. 
like that you saw Odegaard had an unbelievable season. It's things that you won't see again from him. Now he's dropped off. This season, if Madison like continues like this, mm. we can't say there's hope. But to rely on one player like this, like he needs to have an uh, like a a season out of the heavens. Yeah, it's it's just too much. We have life. to give Ange credit though, bro. Yeah, like, he's a winner. Ah oh, man, I believe I believed believe in him. Like I, I thought he, I thought he lowballed going going to Tottenham. Yeah, I, I, I think United I, job. Yep. Get in there. Yeah, but do you know what I think? I, I yeah, think he's on that level. Yeah, yeah, well, he could. I don't know. He won't leave Tottenham now because he's making Tottenham bigger than these You're a United team. supporter. You want, you want Ange? Well, I, I would have I would have taken Ange, 100%. But, but you, got- you know what? I had this. I thought the way Ange is coming in with this reputation, I actually thought when Ten Hag was coming in, he had the same thing. Like in Holland, no, they had this respect. Ten Hag, Ten Hag now, was... now I've seen like Ten Hag's man management is is awful, terrible. Man. Like, bro, he's he's a t- he's you're got out, this. You're out, yeah, you're out. Yeah, Fergie did that, but like Fergie was winning. Yeah, you can't do that and be coming six. Yeah, and Fergie has a personality. No, but the thing yeah, is, when Fergie does it, you ash- he looks like he's scary. Yeah, Ten Hag now he does not like. He looks no, like no one respects no him. Personality bro. there. He's, uh, bro, yeah, he's, he looks like he's the so fact weak. that you can't if you can't get the best out. His job is to get the best out of his players, yeah. and he's not doing that. And he's See, having a fight with Sancho. That, that's that's where yeah, he's that's lost right. me now. How many and, fights and, has he had? Yeah, like he probably <laughs> well, like, probably has merit to do it, but like you got to figure that out with him. Do you know yeah. what I mean? You can't just like what is the way the treatment of like. Have you heard what's happening with him, Sancho? Yeah, they like he's in the academy change room. They they bring him like he's he doesn't not even allowed in like the cafeteria. They bring him like a box lunch. He's got a park on the other side. Yeah. But, he's, but why? He's he was one of the best young players in the world when they signed him. Because he doesn't want to apologize. Yeah, apparently yeah. He doesn't want to apologize. And he ble- yeah, good on him. But well, like, like, like <laughs> someone, this is what happens in football. This is what happens yeah. in, when you're outside. You're like, just say sorry, bro. You play next week. Yeah, but you for you guys it's like nah, no, nah, no. Nah, nah, but when you're there, is. it's nah, like it's him, World yeah. War Three every day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because like you could say sorry and still not play, and then you feel like then, fuck. Then, then, then you're really then, gone. Then it's, it's, <laughs> when you lose you you yourself as a human. Yeah. I'm, like, a, I'm a what if I don't win? <laughs> it's not the biggest bitch, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you feel like. Like <laughs> yeah. Well, so let, maybe let's go. Let's go to Man Manu because obviously it's his second and a half or third season now for Ten Hag. But uh, interesting. I think I said this uh, la, uh, la, on last week's show with Olin that. Ian Wright said it said it the best for me. He goes, way Eric Ten Hag's come in, he's done really well because he's taken it back to Champions League. They've won a trophy. But now that jump to City, can't really say Tottenham because it's been eight games, but like Tottenham, City, those teams challenging, he can't, this manager can't take them there. That's yeah, what he said. But, uh, yeah, but like for me, he's like, how many, how many managers can take you there anyways? Like, there's only a few guys on in that. He that, spent a lot of money that's though. The thing with me, and he buys players from his. We always talk about this. Yeah, he's yes. being he's bringing the players from that he coached. Like he was coaching. He was coaching at Ajax. Mm. Or like Onana. No, I, I don't mind. Terrible. I don't mind coaches that do it because all coaches will bring their own players. Yeah, but, 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 but depends on what level they play that man. No, you know but, I mean? but the quality of the players. The quality of the players is, is just the, pro- the problem is is that the manager. It's you can't get better than a Klopp or Pep. In that, the market, that's, that, that's the thing. Like look, even Pochettino is like probably the next one, and he's like, he's look great, at him, yeah. it's 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 all over the place. Yeah, but, you know? well, I, I, but we all know the man, the man is Deserby. Oh, Deserby, yeah, he. Could. I think he's the guy. Yeah, oh, I like boss. that. I like that. Record. Do you don't so, like Deserby? No, that would be fantastic. That's De- what I mean. Deserby on the Deserby with that with that money. That's what I'm saying. So it's like because he his signings are ridiculous. You see this with the players he signed yeah, for. Bro. They, they, they oh my just god! I'm the biggest Matoma fan. I reckon Matoma's a. World class player, bro. He's gone. I'm surprised no one picked him up already. I saw him come off the bench at Old Trafford two years ago. He resigned. Yeah, he Why would you do that? Yeah, your, because your they're, they're gonna get more, now, bro. Yeah, they'll get more money. But maybe. Why, would, why would I just wait till I'm a free agent? He's a star player in a team that's it's in the top. Yeah, six. but then playing playing for Brighton you, now, he's probably yeah, he's better than better than playing for Chelsea or yeah, true, actually, Man yeah. City. You know, it's crazy. You leave, well, like, imagine right. that you're, you're gonna you're, you're gonna be loved more than anyone else. and You're gonna get the most money, and you're you're playing at a team that's in the top six. Yeah. Hey folks, just a quick pause in this episode, which I hope you're enjoying, just to let you know that I have partnered with Dabble. Dabble is a gambling agency, one of the great platforms out there where you dabble socially and gamble responsibly. Very similar to Instagram, where you can follow some of the head honchos in the various sports and copy their bets to get some good wins on the board. Now, one of the more interesting things we're doing this year with Dabble is Jake's Take, a weekly stream every Wednesday from 7 to 8 p.m., where we put a couple of bets on some greyhounds we get some guests on the show and we cut up shop around what's happening around town in all codes across sport so make sure you come on down check it out within the double app and let's get back into the episode Azam, what do you think of menu like if you were to if you're like what's there's a lot of issues there but what needs to happen right well, now i think i think first of all i think we're really underestimating the the club situation itself like people think just drag a manager out put someone in they've been doing that for the past seven eight years 
Like they've had Mourinho. Saw Look at that. the manager Van from like Moyes. You rate Moyes? Of so course. Don't don't say anything about it. But Moyes, Van Hal, Mourinho. Who else was there? Like so so many managers they bring bring in um, uh, pushing people out, bringing people in. But the the owners are still. Don't there. say this glazes not Please, well, enough. It is. It is. Well, like, enough. I, I think it's very obvious. But they don't give a crap about the club. What is an owner's job? Spend spend money, yeah. Full stop. No, that's not what it is. <laughs> if they give money to spend, that's it. you don't spend the right. That's what. That's what. Like what? what but they're not spending. They're not. They're, they don't. They don't spend their own money. Who cares if they don't spend their own money? <sighs> the, 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 people are being greedy now, man. <laughs> is it? Are they signing Amrabat? Are the Glazers signing Amrabat? <laughs> Listen, man. A cl- your owner is job is to spend money. That's all you can ask from your owners. You can't ask them for more, man. Yeah, People but they, like, need, yeah, but a, they need a they need a they need to step up their stadium. They need to step up the training facilities. They, the there's that, a lot of it's amazing, man. Like, you know, United, you watch a United game. You see Rashford shanking chances. You see Fernandez chasing the ref. Well, this is what Jamie Carragher was saying. And then after saying, the game, they talk about the Glazers. Yeah. So, <laughs> have you seen this? What, what Jamie you know, Carragher said? Like that, it's <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, if you say it like that, it doesn't sound like. That's what, what's happening. But it's all connected. I see the whistle blows. Well, like, like, in, the, in the booth like this, they well, talk like, about the Glazers. I say it's all connected, bro. No, but see, do you know where I I somewhat agree with you is. Because it has to affect mentality in the club, the, the natural feel. But I still don't know how Ten Hag wants to play. Dude, you're a player. You guys are players. Yeah, yeah, but I still. You guys got paid. I, when when men you go out to play, I don't know. We say that. I don't know what the purpose is. <laughs> that like, is true. And that that you don't. That's not the owner. That's what you do Monday to Friday on the training the coaching, pitch. The coaching. So shows that's where you're starting to lose. There's it. one thing that I've been seeing that they're actually trying to do. This is the only. T- thing that I've ever seen that's actually being replicated each game. Rashford gets the ball first time on the wing and swings his foot straight into Holland. <laughs> that's the only pass that's, that looks like it's being trained yeah. and drilled into them in training. But I reckon they've just, had, they've just had a conversation bro. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's not that, even the coach. You know? It worked so many times even against City they did it. Yeah, but the coach, they, they, they just got a bad coach, man. They picked it's the wrong terrible. guy. That's it's all terrible. it is. It's it was terrible. talking about the glazes, all the roofs leaking apparently somewhere in the stadium. Like, mm. This is nonsense, man. Yeah. But you know it's nonsense. Was, hand, bro. When he first came, we saw an energy in the players, the way that they defended, the way that they wanted the ball. Like It was just like when Arteta went to Arsenal. You saw a different energy from the players. Yeah, I'll get ya. That's what we saw at the start. Mm. Then it just fell off. After the Ronaldo incident, it all just fell off. It, yeah. I, think more, with, I, mean, I said it's more backing. Like, like let's let's just take the, the Pogba incident that happened with Mourinho. Mm. After that happened, I think a couple of months later, he was out the door. Like, there was no feeling of like, okay, he's the, the man in charge. His word goes. It's, 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 it's pretty much his club. Yeah. It, there was, there's nothing the like The director that, of you know I mean? football, I don't know how that stuff works, but that, they got it wrong. I know that, I do know. Well, they don't have one. Well, that, that's one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That yeah. is that, that's wrong because the, the person they're appointing to appoint these guys, yeah, like they've given um um the keys to the, uh, Ten Hag, like and they they're patient with him because you know they did the right thing, but they don't know what's the wrong guy. If yeah. they done this with deserve, I feel it. like they are they are backing him. So they're he has him he's got no excuse. He's got no excuse. Ten Hag yeah. has no excuse. No, uh, that he won't now. I think this will be his. Uh, if, he, if things don't improve, Surely he's going to be gone. You think Isn't so? It? Yeah, I think so. He keeps saving his job by these wins. But you know, this winning is actually it's like he's the way they win is actually costing you guys more. Like that, like that Brentford game. Yeah, but we can't be <laughs> if he loses that game. We be can't be like having these heroic moments against Copenhagen. Yeah. The game should be dead at dead at sixty minutes. Normally, you know? normally not like a penalty save to win the match. And know? also, normally, like a three 0 loss at home against your rivals. That normally is, that's the, the final nail. The they get to work every time now. That's, that's normal yeah. now. That's light. I don't know. He's got, he's got, he's got some players coming now. back. He's got some players coming back. But I think that's will the league for another 10, 15 years. Uh, I'm telling you. Uh, oh, shit. I don't know yeah, about like 15. The, yeah. Maybe 10 or Liverpool, below. how long to, how long, how long to take, how long to take Liverpool? How long to take Liverpool? I think we're take, we're, we're like, we're one oh, manager wait, and a couple of signs away from. In COVID, bro, think of how, how second quickly second Arsenal got there. Bro. <laughs> it's all fraud, it's all what are you fraud. talking about? Yeah, think about think of how quickly Arsenal were challenging. Yeah. And if they didn't choke, but they were there, and it was just one one season, a couple of big signings, bang, they were there. Even Tottenham. So man. Where they are. Tottenham, nah, same thing. It can change quick. Man, you, man, you, yeah. years from now. man, you just got the. the Owner play again yeah, the whole. And look at Chelsea. So look where they were and look where they are right now. Chelsea won the league before my United. I say it's like this. Is that you? you, you do, do I agree? Uh, it's a, it's like Chelsea. Russian roulette. Chelsea win the league before. So United. you think the owners have nothing to do with anything uh, that's like bad at the United owners right are the, like uh, they, it's, it's everyone's just handballing everything on them, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> everyone's handballing people because be, I tell you why because you just want everyone's Qatar. That's all. If the Qatar beat never came. No one even talk about these owners. Yeah, but you know, everyone wants an Arab sugar daddy because you need a state. <laughs> you know what I mean? wants Arab oh sugar daddy. Oh my god, I'm gonna call that this <laughs> <sentence. laughs> the Arab sugar daddy. It's Arab sugar daddy. That's what it is. Oh. Like Newcastle, you like you need a state to back you these days. Yeah. You know what oh. I mean, come on, man. Well, let's go. I wanna um I wanna ask you guys top four predictions for, for Premier, League? Premier League. Yeah, let's I, go. I got Tottenham winning it. 
Yeah. Oh, um, wow. Um, Clip that. Clip that. I hope so. 20, 30, yeah, yeah, TikTok. I hope no, no, so. I, I, I got Tottenham winning it. Yeah. We, had a, we got a friend of ours on the, the, on the podcast. So mm. He said this like a month ago, remember? He's like, mm. we're going to win the league. He said this like two Ooh. months ago. It would be very ange to win the Premier League. Because everything he's done has he, caught everyone off guard and by surprise. And he's been consistent with it. Because if he wins a Premier League, you can't deny that. His trajectory has not been ticking every box yeah. on the path to doing it. I think he's, I think I got it's Tottenham. Just the Premier yeah. League is so freaking hard to win. It's a week by week kind of thing, man. As long as they man. keep grinding out, they keep grinding out results. If anyone could do it, he could do it. Though. Yeah, man. <sighs> well, I hope so, man. Now, who's top? top? You got so Tottenham winning? Tottenham, I got Liverpool. I mean, Man City second, Liverpool third. I can ask for fourth. Not bad. No, I'll go. I'll go City, hundred percent first. After that, I think Arsenal will be probably to choke. They'll probably choke. So I'll probably say Tottenham second. Arsenal third, Liverpool fourth. I don't see mm. Liverpool climbing back up, Allah. I think I think I'm gonna start with the second. I think Tottenham is gonna finish second. Yeah. I think they're just gonna miss out as well. Yeah. I think they're gonna take yeah. it all the way. Yeah. But Man City are gonna win this. this Man title. City's too experienced for this. Yeah, shit. I yeah. just they can't. I really want to say. I really want. Yeah. Your, I like how you say your answer because I want to say that. Yes. Yeah. But I, see, I, City, man, they yeah. the way they've come back and won the last few seasons. Yeah, but, I, I just think it's until Pep goes. Yeah, Until Pep to, goes, like yeah. with their squad, like I don't know how you can, you're gonna have to, they're gonna have to, you're gonna have to have a perfect season, yeah. like like Tottenham has now. You're gonna have to maintain that. But and, and they don't, they're only playing they hundred points, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're, 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 man used to win titles off like 89 yeah, or 90 know, points days, know, yeah these, now Pep's getting 105 104 you're <laughs> like ridiculous. what so it's yeah. you can't you can't have two bad weeks in the Prem with Matt, this Man City team think, that's I think, why I think they're too strong third third I'll probably just go I think Arsenal is always going to be up there and probably Liverpool I don't think they're going to break into the top three I don't think uh, and Chelsea, Chelsea Man United I Let's do know, this. I don't know. Put us top six, or like. Yeah, well, I, I really don't even see us so top six. Unless we start getting carried by some players in the team. Yeah, it's it's, nah. it's just gone. It's just gone. Need back, Casemiro bro. to do some Casemiro things yeah, or something. It's interesting before because I got probably three questions to round out some quick fire ones mm. um, before we finish up. But I reckon Fernandez. He's got a lot of scrutiny with armband now too. Yeah. Wow, oh, man. You, you you made a comment last time. You said, "Look how much time you like." I, I rate him. You're like, nah, watch his game. Look how much times he loses the ball. That's what you said. Yeah, yeah, yes. No, yeah. no. Nah, I see. You remember the last I remember, man. Of course I remember. Were you in your sleep? Yeah, but wow. now you know. <laughs> did you, you watched watch? it before you came. Yeah, but <laughs> do, you see, do you see I'm right? Huh? No, so Fernandez, I'm his biggest fan. Yeah. But to play with, yeah. I wouldn't like it. Because, because, much, because yeah. he's got the license to do what he wants and take yeah. the risk. And he's so good when it comes off that you'll get a goal. Yeah. But there'll be nine times that I'm going to have to run more. Yeah. So as a teammate, I'm like, fuck, like, come on, bro. Yeah. But as a fan, I'm, he's going to be the guy that does it, yeah. makes a difference. He's a phenomenal player. I man. think so, the, cap the captaincy thing is his attitude. He's, he's just like the whole. Yeah, yeah, yeah but in, could be passion, port it's like Portuguese right. passion. You it's know, not like, Portuguese passion. You know, it, it actually looks like a crybaby. He's a crybaby. Yeah, yeah, well, I, like, no, that's what so that's what I'm saying. I think sook, man. that would be if Ten Hag is going to be the way Ten Hag's been. You hit the armband's gone. Yeah, because he's been tough on every decision. That is not good for the team. No that's way. not like so. That's got to stop. But that's been happening for two years. Even yeah. before he was, even before he was captain, he just bitches all the time. He just chases the free half the but game. What a footballer, man! Unbelievable. Oh, what a he's, footballer. A, he's Man United quality. Yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. He's actually yeah. like from that from that team. When I look at that team. Rashford just. I don't even know. I think he's a bit overrated. But let's say, let's say Rashford. Who, who's the captain? Who's the vice captain after him? Not uh, Maguire. Say Maguire. Uh, no, I, don't, no. I, don't, I don't know. Probably I'd say Casemiro. It'd be my guess. Because yeah, yeah. it was De Gea and Maguire and stuff, but now I don't know. Yeah, I was like, going to say just Shaw, bro. Nah, man. Shaw's in the team. Yeah, Shaw's like, a good player. Yeah, he's I'll, reliable I'll now. Say, yeah. He's, he's so reliable, actually just bro. shit, man. <laughs> I saw, well, like, Shaw. Now I'm thinking about, I'm trying to think of who's the next captain. When I saw Maguire so and Everton, I saw Maguire and you know why? Derby, I was like, oh, a bunch of evil, I, like, So I've got, I've got a good question here because I want to give you some quick fire ones, yeah, go, but go I, don't, I don't know if anyone's going to say my answer, but I hope someone does. But who is going to win the Champions League? We were saying PSG at the start of the year. Do you want me to tell you who's going to win it? What do you think? Bayern. Bayern. Oh. Do you think Bayern's going to win the Champions League? Everybody Champions? was saying that last year. Is it Harry Kane now? Is that what it is? <laughs> Bro, Harry they Kane. are bopping teams, man. Yeah. They are, they are. They're, 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 they're oiled. They're the perfect, like, Real's there, everyone's there, an English team might be there. I want to ask Bayern, Bayern is, it's in that, it's in that Bayern mode team, where that, they're like. That team is loaded and, and they play hard. But I want to ask something. If Harry Kane doesn't win <laughs> the Champions League, <laughs> Oh, wow. It's all gone to waste. Yeah. Was it the biggest mistake of, in, in history <laughs> oh, of, of mankind? God. Oh, because of if well, no, it's the biggest. If Tottenham win the league, oh my god, I don't think about that. Yeah, yeah. You I said they're going to win. Bro, if Tottenham yeah. win the league and he left, can you imagine? That's yeah. unbelievable. The one time that he could have been there, <laughs> but you, but you reckon he would have? 
you think they're playing better now because he's not there in terms of like not because he's not because he's a detrimental to the team but in terms of the way they play I, you know what I think he's the only player that you c couldn't really say that against because of how unselfish he is and how he's he scores 30 goals a year and gives you 20 assists yeah I think they would only be he better made, with him there. He made a mistake by going by. I think you know what he's talking about. He's I talking understand about the, the goal scoring record of the Premier League. Oh, you're talking about that? You're talking no. about oh, no, you're talking about Tottenham's like, results. Because, no, no, because no, 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 if if Bayern Munich don't win the Champions League, what is it? Has it fifty goals away or hundred goals away? Fifty goals away, yeah. Fifty goals away. Yeah. 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 From, from the well, so so he, he's gonna leave his career with, with the Bundesliga, which no one really cares about. Yeah, I, I think man, he was that desperate to win titles. Like who cares if you win a title in Germany? Yeah. Like I don't understand this whole medal, like collecting medal thing. Like, it's like win a title, bro. They, they, oh, yeah, they, but you want to win a title. Like not every title is like, you know, equal. Yeah, like, yeah you mean, come on. Would like, you the top goal scorer or the Bundesliga? If I rather, I rather have the top score than any day of the, of the Bundesliga. I rather yeah, have the that's goal, historic, that's historic, eh? Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah if, I'm a, if I'm an English lad, yeah. for sure. I'd rather, I'd rather like I mean, him? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So who you who got? Champions, Champions League? League? Give I me your PSG. predictions. I, I, I'm sick of it. I'll say like full confidence. Now that Cedar got a taste of it, they're getting it again. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah they're going back to back. I definitely think no, that doesn't happen often. Well, I definitely Never. think that. Has that ever happened? Madrid. Madrid. Madrid has done oh, yeah, of course. Wait, yeah. Did they? They, uh, I was going to say three, 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 three in a row, yeah? Yeah, three in a row. Yeah, 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 that yeah. team was like... Yeah. yeah. I'm, 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 sticking, <laughs> I'm sticking with PSG, bro. Uh, I, reckon Mbappe, I reckon Mbappe that is, is that guy. Oh, you was, know who I'm telling you, bro? Watch that leave. Watch the yeah, guy. That dude, he's Ruo, scored, he scored a nice goal with the Champions League. Is totally I reckon bro. Mbappe is that is guy. You know what I'm talking about? That guy like that can take he's you. He's technically flawless. And with that, with that you know who they have to rely on? They have to rely on him and Zaya Emery. Uh, Doing the Champions League, Mbappe, 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 you know what? Dembele, if Dembele gets going for Dembele, is unbelievable. If Dem you, you know Dembele, no. Dembele, Dembele, he's got two feet. Dembele, like, call him one. You cannot, you cannot trust them. Call him one. You forget about you, him. You can never trust them. Only Donnarumma, Zaya Emery, even though he's so young, and Mbappe. Those are the only three key players. <laughs> that's it. That kind's good. Who? Marquinhos is having stinkers every single week. What are you talking about? Who's your pick? It's high, uh, for me either Manchester City or the other one just because of his run and just because of the amount of talented players they have just Madrid, Real Madrid. Uh, okay nah, I like yeah. it All right, this is, this is going to be an interesting one particularly for you but if you could play for a coach who would it be? I think we did this last time. Yeah, Lottie, I know, but Ancelotti bro she's changed his answer for sure Who was, was, that, who was that last time? Was that Ancelotti? I was that Ancelotti last time wasn't it? Oh, like, you know what? I, I know, or Klopp Maybe Klopp but, uh, the, Do you know what? I didn't even think of Ancelotti I would love to play Ancelotti, for Ancelotti man Because like, Ancelotti he like, like you know, he gets the best out of everyone. And his players love him, bro. His yeah. players love him, you know what I mean? I'm going to go for one that I think your audience will love, Ange Postacoglu. Yeah, be. I think that's Ange yeah. is a pretty not rock yet, solid one. I probably wouldn't have said this if you didn't bring him up today, but I think the Zerbi, Wallah. Oh, I Wallah like that. As well. Nah, yeah. the Zerbi's got that you know Guardiola vibe. <laughs> no. In your ear. Yeah, yeah in your ear, doing your, he's chewing your ear off yeah. after the game. No, no, no. If, if, uh. if the sub that he's giving you is, adv is adv like advice on positioning. Yeah. That's completely fine. Yeah. If he's telling you what to do in that moment when you have the ball, yeah. that's an annoying yeah, no, no, coach. But what he does, the, his style of play mm. and how he, 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 like he, his team plays, bro, it's just too it's good to, yeah. the, like it's just another Pep. Yeah. Mm. But Pep is just too much of, and his mouth is just yeah, moves too like much. Bro. All right, so this, this is going to be a good one because now I'm going to put you in sporting director's shoes. So you're making transfer fees. So you got two buyers. You got one with all the money in the world so you can get any player you want, who you're bringing, to your club and then one you got 50 million so you got to be a bit more shrewd and, and pick something that's going to be so I'll set the tone my 50 million one would be Matoma I love Matoma uh, from he's, Brighton he's, he's good, that's a good pick yeah oh, and then my all the money in the world I'd, I'd probably what club is this by the way it has to be are we saying player. what club we're actually at well, you, can you can choose yeah so you so can be United you can be Chelsea oh, yeah, whoever, you know? United they're not giving you Matoma for 50 they're giving you Matoma yeah but that's true but like let's just play the game <laughs> okay. for, for uh because he's probably worth 50 million. Like a club could buy him 50 yeah, million. Yeah, yeah. So I'd take Matoma. That's a really nice pick. <laughs> and, then I, and then I'd probably, That's a good pick, man. to be honest, like I, I would I would say Mbappe, I'm but if Bellingham finishes the season the way he started, then yeah. Bellingham's that guy. And this is to Manchester United, you're saying? No, you can choose. If, if I'm making okay. okay. club. But like, look at your club though. That's what do they need? That's you know what I mean? Say. No, but like, so I'm talking your individual preference. Oh, like okay, you're okay. the player so it doesn't that- doesn't matter the club? No, it doesn't matter. Okay. We're changing your show now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the question to you, man. Check, yeah, check. I'm, I'm an Everton supporter, yeah? So if I, let's say these Arab Sugar Daddies locked down, they came down yeah. and they're like, all right, who's the one player? I'll always go with Mbappe, man. Mbappe, Mbappe is, is that guy. Yeah, I think that's a that's and Mbappe solid. is that guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And as for the fifty million dollar signing, the, the in between one, I I, I think it's like that kid, man. That that oh, I like him. The Emery kid. That's, that, yeah, yeah, exactly. I he's he's impressed you that much. I think he's that, yeah. I'm gonna have to watch him more. Yeah, man. I'm gonna have to watch PSG I've seen games. Two more. Champions League games, running the midfield, man, for at 17 years old. I and mean, I'm not a big fan of boy wonders. 
I'm going to be yeah. fancy 16 year olds. I mean, like I'm, I'm not, I'm not. That could sound really wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah neither, neither are we, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 like I'm my age, you know? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? It's you were saying, you're not a fan. So that's good. Yeah, 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 yeah. politically like, correct. Like, like, keep it Just in. didn't know what you were talking yeah. about. Fuck, you know what I'm saying? You know what? Like them a bit older. All right, we got, we got your answer. All right, Azab, let's go. Oh, what do you man. think? Oh, no, oh there, you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. You know what? Just so, because Mbappe is Mbappe, guys. But yeah. I don't think I'm going to say that. Oh, he's the best but player in the world. If I had to pick the second one, it had to be Vinicius Jr., man. Oh, I Fuck like that, bro. Yeah. Vinny Jr. Yeah. is so, he should be in that conversation too, man. But yeah. He's like, everyone forgot about him. He is so lethal. Yeah. No, no, I think he's the hardest player uh, one-on-one to, to defend. I know Mbappe probably is too, but yeah. Vinny goes at you every single time. I think Do you know what I mean? Mbappe, Mbappe drops his shoulders, he passes, he gets a back one twos. Vinny runs at you. Yeah, and he's more skillful. So I think. He's, a, he's more annoying to defend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. What, what about? I think the for the 50 million, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, 50, I, yeah. I'm, I'm going to wait. Just let, let him answer. Well, so you said Vinny, yeah? For your yeah. 100 mil. That's good. Good pick. I don't, I don't think about it for some reason. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's too obvious. I that's me now. This yeah. question's annoyed me because I'm thinking, ah, yeah. Yeah, it's either Mbappe or Vinny for me, bro. Yeah, the main one. I think Mbappe, this is for United. Okay, so Mbappe, mm. and I think something we're missing is the 10. Mm. And I'll go for Jamal Musiala. Oh, but bro. Jamal Musiala is over 50 no, million, No, guys. Surely. no, way. Jamal Musiala? Nah, Musiala would be like, right he'd be now, like, he'd be the, the highest paid player in the world. Come he'd be mostly, yeah. but because he's of the that good. thing right now, yeah. But he, 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 he I just dropped the ball there, man. I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying to find the 10 that's play? like Chibi, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I like him, I like him. He's like, he reminds me of, I like him. Ferdinand said it, and I heard him talk about it like that, and I'm like, bro, he does. He reminds me of Kaka. Whoa, that's he's a big insane. one. Yeah, bro. That's yeah, how good he's he is. Insane, bro. He, dribbles, he dribbles three players with just jink, uh, the ball staying in between his feet. No skills, no step overs, and just a bit of speed and movement. He's that's what Kakadi. Is the tight spaces that he gets out from? Yeah, he's a good, good yeah. player. He's a good player. He's, he's still, still a kid, man. man. I appreciate you guys coming on the show. No worries, man. Man, I love, I love having you guys. And have to do... Quick, quick uh, UFC thing. Do you, you think <laughs> Angana got robbed? Oh, the boxing? Yeah. Yeah, I do think it. I don't know what YouTube, I don't know what it is. I mean, boxing's always been... If he... The way the fight was going, I was like, if he doesn't knock him out, knowing boxing, this could happen. Are you, are you a Tyson Fury fan? I am, yeah, because I, he's from a part of England where I am. But so, like, the, what I like about Tyson Fury is his story, and then the more I watch him back, I'm like, he's getting annoyed. He's, he's quality, but he's getting a bit annoying, isn't he? But well, yeah, but if he's never lost, he's unbelievable. He, it's, but, it's 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 more it, the fact of how it. it's more the fact of how he looks and how skillful he is. I'm like, oh, no, he, he, it's just like, does it, how does it work? You know, because like you look at bro. Huh? But I hate how he shambles. looks? Have you seen him fight, but yeah, yeah, yeah that's what I mean. Ridiculous. It's like looking like that, but having the, the nicest we, feet on yeah. the soccer. Can we just agree on one thing? His brother's the worst boxer in the history of boxers. Oh my god! Yeah, but this is why he's smart though. Because look, don't get me wrong, I don't disagree. But he's making more money than, than better make, boxers. I, I hate to yeah. making more money thing. It's like, it's the, 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 that half an hour was the worst half an hour in the history of mankind, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The hu- there was 76 hugs. The 76 yeah, clinches. So God, that case yeah, yeah. I, 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 I don't joke. think I'll watch those again. Yeah. Yeah. I won't pay for them. I genuinely thought it was going to be better than I've that. Seen yeah, I want to see blood. Do like, you know what I mean? Like, with all the, always the street fights are all a lot better than that fight, The best part about those fights are the press conferences. But they know how to build it up. Yeah, but even they they're good at that. stupid. His father grabbed the table. Even the Dennis Logan Paul fight was like... That was even worse. Yeah, that was embarrassing. That guy just embarrassed himself. I actually think the KSI fight was worse. I think that was just as bad as that. There was no like... There's, There's no, no sequence of punches. It was yeah. just like, as a punch bang. Yeah. 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 But Ngannou done well. Ngannou done well. I, well, Ngannou um, will be potentially put in the top 10 of the he rankings. Could be, he could beat Chizora and um, maybe, and what's it called? And um, Well, he didn't. If, if Fury has to, I reckon Fury should give him a rematch. No, nah, Fury will annihilate him, man. Wow. I'm telling know. you, man. Fully Fury. Do you reckon he trained? Not that hard, man. Yeah, that's what I think. Not well, that that's hard, what I'm man. hoping. Because I'm not like, that otherwise, hard, Ngannou's the freakiest fighter of all time. And if Fury chin, trained for that. He's got a chin and a leech chin. And Ngannou. He's punch. He's Ngannou, two, Ngannou. But come on, man. But, but the 7th, 8th round, but he's just He's got two grenades too, man. You know who I'd love to see him against? Give him Wilder, man. Wilder, yeah, that'd be... That'd be... That would be Cannon, a show. Just going one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like it. That would be insane. I like it. Did yeah. you see the advertisement for the Tyson Fury and Ngana thing? No. See the video that they made for it? No. Where every punch was like a like a little earthquake. <laughs> They'll punch this guy will punch the, the the bag here and then this guy is somewhere in, in, in his house and the house is shaking. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually it was a sick advertisement. Oh, it was so sick. Because we had, we had, we had, we were talking about on the way here. We had, had Pereira here. And, yeah. then he, and then he got laid out after 
Oh, <laughs> he did too, didn't he? Yeah. Oh, it was his bad ass. I think he got to sleep. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> man, shout out Pereira, bro. He come on the show. We love him for that. He's an edible. How, how tall is he? Uh, Brayden was six foot four. Yeah, six foot four. Jeez. And like no expression. Yeah, I know, man. Cold show. Yeah. Cold, bro. Yeah. yeah. Babe, hell? where can, where can um, the Unleashed sisters go find Galactic Oz? Yeah, so we're doing a little brand change right now, but uh, just YouTube. Oh, you're changing the names? No, we, we yeah, because uh, it was on the money for like, for past oh, seven of course. years, yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're probably going to change it to either the Galacticos or Galacticos. Okay, so, we'll so it's we'll YouTube, go. YouTube based. YouTube, YouTube, yeah. Spotify, SoundCloud, Apple Podcasts, wherever. Well, get around, listen, appreciate you boys coming on. I appreciate. Uh, you got to get you back into football, man. Overseas for sure, yeah, no doubt. I hope, I hope. <laughs> I can't be. But the controversy is always anymore. good with you guys, nah, man. We'll have to well, get thanks, you back thanks, on again. Thanks for, for us, man. Appreciate for all it. the listeners, uh, appreciate you guys tuning in. We'll see you guys next week.